I'm over bananas. Stop. Bananas are valuable. I ain't never putting anything in my in my mouth that's shaped like a man's schlong, okay? Number one, Wendy Wu, Chinese warrior. <laughs> <laughs> His parents gave him the bootleg Disney. Who yeah. the f is that? For those who have watched The Notebook, Jeremy is Rachel McAdams, okay? Wu Talk is Ryan Gosling. <laughs> are, aren't we the love interest then? Shut up. Go, go ahead with it. Go. Go ahead with it. Hello, welcome to another episode of Under the Influence. My name is Esther. My name is Jeremy. My name's Wu Talk. My name is Vit Trap. And we're sponsored by Nectar, Nectar Heart, Heart Seltzer. Seltzer. Unique Asian flavors, no weird aftertaste. We're coming to the Bay Area, March Yee-hoo! 1st. We what, are what launching. Are we, we are launching 50 Safeways, Damn. one of the biggest grocery chains in the Bay Area. We're getting a big opportunity, so come out, try the new flavors, what day? come meet us. That's a big March launch, 1st. too. Big launch. What day? 50 stores. 50 stores, but that's 50 stores to unlock to, if we do well in them, they'll unlock us to like 200 something yeah, no, in the fall, so yeah, it's little but steps. No, no. Send NorCal Delete to the it. number on the screen, and we'll send you the address as soon as it's available, and there may be a night event as well, so prepare your livers. Mm-hmm. We'll be With bringing, Super Bonsai! Yes, we'll be bringing Super Bonsai if we do, do the night event, so you'll be able to try it out for your first time if you've never tried it. Um, but yeah. I'm excited. I really wanted to go to the Bay Area. I'm gonna treat this meet and greet like a, like a f- talent show. I'm gonna be streaming. Bring your best talent. What are they winning? Let's get on the side here, too. Like, oh, I guess nothing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, just entertain me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the evil ruler. <laughs> oh, no, you, you win if, you, if your talent's good enough, you get a clip out of it. Um, anyways... Uh, are you guys done having your little side conversations oh. over there? Well, you made me a smoothie and now I have something stuck on the way back of my oh, teeth. Oh, my fault that I made you a smoothie. I'll never do it again. Look, Apologies. It's the front tooth on the side of it. So it's this tooth on the side. He's lying to you. I don't even see it's nothing. Not. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's yeah. a seed. Yeah. It's from right. the fruits. Well, have you... Embarrassing. Have you gotten rid of your, your seed? Anyways. Do you want water? Just like push water through your teeth. Well... Guess that's the episode, y'all. Yeah. Hope Dental you enjoyed hygiene it. with Esther. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, me Hit and Vit, Vit and I just came back from Hawaii. So Hawaii. Hawaii. And uh, we love that place. It was Jordan's birthday, our white boy. Love that man. Shout out to you, Jordan. Anyways, uh, you shout want out to, to uh, Zach. Zach oh, out there. Our shout boy out. Zach, who's a promoter at District. Also held us down with um, amazing rooms at Hotel LaCroix. So shout out Hotel LaCroix. We loved our stay there. Staff was so hospitable. Rooms were great. Zach, you deserve many smooches on the mouth. Very nice place. Since you guys are shouting people out, shout out to my friend Sunny for hooking it up with all the good kimchi. And I know you're watching. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> what? You guys are shouting out? Can I do it too? Yeah, well, but that's just shout- like your home girl. Just tell her <laughs> thank you. What the she watches it every every week. Wow. Sunny, take we're taking that back. She's not shouting you out. <laughs> no, anti shout out, Sunny. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what she made you kimchi shout or out, something? Shout out my mom. Yeah. For yeah. Giving birth to me. Yeah, for shout real. Out everybody. Shout out my brother if you're watching this. Actually, you don't watch Can this. Can I do one more shout out? you. I actually take that one back too. Can I do one more <laughs> shout out? Shout out to Yays. Okay, Wu Talk. <laughs> Can we like talk about Hawaii? First? <laughs> <laughs> let's, Hawaii. Wait, let's 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 eat this first. No, 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 no. no, we'll no I don't want to eat that first. That was a perfect watch time. People don't want to see. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to. If I clicked onto an under the influence video and I was just watching us crunching crispy beef <laughs> deliciousness, I'd be like. These guys, <laughs> and that's another thing about the ASMR stuff. Because I'm like, why would someone click into a podcast? Because I forget who who's commented it, but they're like, oh, what you don't enjoy ASMR noises? And they're like, no, I click to watch a podcast. I don't want to hear chewing when I click to watch a podcast. And I was like, you're right. I don't know. You guys always depends. shit on me for transition, nope. so I just tried. It you did good try. <laughs> don't try to defend yourself, you nasty. Oh, it's Sometimes <laughs> ASMRs are nice. <laughs> I like ASMR. All right, well, you go watch that in your own time. Don't force that onto our viewers, okay? It's our, my show. <laughs> go watch another That's show. True. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Did my best. Uh, you guys are now seeing. Yeah, this is now an ASMR mm, trailer. Now I'm eating yeah. steak. We, we're now going to be coming. <laughs> mm. <laughs> anyway, so Hawaii. Is your ASMR segment done? Thank you. Please stop. <laughs> we went to Hawaii. Had a lot of fun. I, um, this was the first time that I didn't drink every single day of a vacation. 
How many days of the vacation did you drink? So I only got drunk one day, but I did have drinks on another day. But like casual. free dinner. Free dinner. So if you guys were going to body me like that, I would. I was going to buy you the dinners. Yes, but. as you guys know, in a previous episode, he said he was being celibate. He was going to go to this trip and drink once, which I okay, thought okay. was drinking. Celibate doesn't mean not drink. Like I was going. I'm trying to quit drinking, and I allowed myself one night because I knew I was going on this trip for my boy's birthday. So I did, in fact, indulge in that one night. But then the night after, I did, in fact, have some drinks. That's crazy. Yes. I mean, good for us, but... <laughs> Where are you taking us? You. I'll figure it out. I'm going to pick the worst rated restaurant that still fits the money line. That That's I have. But you're going to have to eat it, too. F- I'll eat it. <laughs> Why would you do that to yourself? Because Why would you enjoy the meal? Out of spite? Yeah, well, well, what if I enjoy it and huh? you're hating it? I'm going to love okay. it. Whatever you pick, I'm going to love That's it. okay. I know that you're lying deep yeah. down. <laughs> gonna I'm going to so make good. sure I know it's... Yeah. You, I can see you loving it. Your girl will not. Yeah, she'll she be has very high her- standards. Uh, I mean, like, sometimes she likes different. Sometimes she likes. No, 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 no. Like Trust me, I know food. exactly yeah. which place to take y'all to. Like oh she my. loves Red Lobster. Red Lobster is yeah, good. Like oh, yeah, red so red maybe good. actually, maybe you don't a have Red taste. Lobster. See, I feel no like he listen. would not like Red wow. Lobster, but she would. Red I've never fire. actually been to Red Lobster. Exactly. Fire. We should all go on a trip, and can I, I, we can. Can post that be? Can that be my dinner? Nope. I'm down, but I don't know. All right, fine. Take him to Crab Night. But I don't think I don't think that it'll reach the three hundred. Crab Night at Red Lobster is that a thing? What is that? Okay, Red Lobster on I think I believe it's Tuesdays. Tuesdays, Red Lobster has crab legs. A pound of crab legs for twenty five dollars only. Really? And they have different flavors. Easy like, peasy, we out. It's like steamed, regular steamed with butter, or like butter and garlic, like, lemon. After it's she, delicious. <laughs> she sounds like Forrest Gump's friend. He's like coconut shrimp, yeah. grilled <laughs> shrimp, boiled shrimp. <laughs> hey, Bubba, but, yeah, Bubba, yeah, yeah, Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Yeah. She started listening. Pineapple shrimp, <laughs> barbecue you, you, you shrimp. You skip ahead 45 yeah. minutes in the podcast and she's still like, <laughs> tzatziki crab legs, kimchi <laughs> crab legs. <laughs> hey, but here's the funny part of it. When she went to Red Lobster, she brought her own seafood boil sauce and her own scissors. <laughs> That's and fire. She, she hid it in her purse. That's crazy. I'm, uh, I'm going to need you to put some Thai chilies in your purse when we go. Yeah. But anyway, so you cheated. Okay. Why would you uh, tell them I that? I don't know about if we need to use the word cheating. <laughs> I had maybe a couple drinks the, the second night, yeah. I didn't get drunk at all. I only got drunk that one night. And every night I went home early. Like, I'm talking like they were out being very bad boys. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I can't be around this badness. I'm going to go home and pray and go to bed and do my skincare. Did that. But uh, what were you doing? I don't give a that story's boring. <laughs> yeah, what, were, what were you doing? Oh, uh, sorry, my growth. Hey, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my growth he is not excited. He wanted us to be like, oh, you did normal people things. We're so proud of you. Now you on the other <laughs> hand. I I'm was. I'm out here struggling <laughs> for my life. I was that, that one guy on TikTok, or just you don't talk about. Which guy? Um, he's like, what? What vegans expect people to? <laughs> do, do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, like, it's like different what else scenarios did you do? too. What, what else did you do, Papa? <laughs> That's just I saw so one funny. where he's like, hey, hey, we'll give you your kudos. That is yeah. a, that is that is hey, a one. This is the first time in my life yeah. that I've ever done such a thing. So, what time were you going home? Like 11, 12? Like 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I'll take talk, it back. Bro, they were out till seven in the morning every, type. Bro. Night, yeah. Where what's Every open? Night. What's open at seven? No, like in the hotel. They're out till four. Oh. In the hotel till seven. I'm talking. I was leaving even the club early. How do you have that picture? I was in Hawaii. With no, her guys. friend was. Ah. Her friend was at the table next to us. Apparently, let me hey, see. Oh, what the f- <laughs> yep. Look at this. It looks literally like a high school dance. It I looks like a high school dance. And then dance. look at me being a good boy on the left. Let me see. I'm hey, being well, a good hey, but boy. let's get to the good part of the story. Debaucherous. Yes. Yeah, I was. Uh, he was being uh, no other way to put it. I was every single night, pretty uh, much almost. almost. Wait, same girl or no? No, <laughs> no I was I was afraid to touch this man. Wait, after. were you sharing the hotel room? No, no, no. no I had my own room. Oh. He was sharing the hotel room with Edmund, though. Poor Edmund. Uh, and I had, my, I had my uh, own Edmund, room. Edmund was asleep one night, and the other night I went to Shorty's crib. Dude, All right, I'll tell the story and. We we can discuss. wait. It was the same shorty or a different shorty? Not different different no. shorty. I feel like Edmund wasn't asleep. He was just crying. Like no, he was- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> turned the nah, other way. That boy, that boy got super drunk. He passed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. So we landed. <laughs> you Thursday- Edmund while he's passed out. <laughs> <laughs> no Ed- man. Edmund is our is one of our new videographers, by the way, and the- also one of our new friends. Yeah, yeah. I love that guy. Um, but yeah, we landed Thursday. We didn't really do nothing on Thursday. Uh, Thursday was like 
planting, planting the seeds, blah, 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 finding girls for the trip. Got lucky, found one for Friday. Wait, you were planning for yourself? Yeah, yeah I was yeah, planting yeah, for yeah. myself. Or what about Jordan? No, they, no, no. They did their own he, he's planning for himself. Got it, got it. But in planting for myself, I found a girl for Friday to hang out with. She brought her friends. How did you find her on Instagram? Or did that's, you that's the worst part. Craigslist? I don't remember. Wait, what girl are you talking about? So the about? first, first girl, you, the first one you met. Okay, you, so this is what I'll explain it since I was sober. <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah, how about I tell the story? All right? wow. so Thank we, God, God you were sober. Yeah, we get there Thursday. Even if I was drunk, I, I would remember some of it. <laughs> but I then we get like there you. Thursday, chill day. Uh, I forget what we did Thursday. I don't think we didn't really go hard Thursday, but yeah, we Friday, really. Friday we went to um, District. Like, we were just bar hopping. We ended up at District. He meets random girl there because one of her friends was a fan of us and then, like, she brought her friend over and then Vit was interested in the friend. So, he starts talking to the friend. That night, I leave early, right? I bounce out that club very early that night. Like, midnight type shit. Oh, okay. Right? And then, and then he... That's Friday night. That, that night, he is when he violated uh, Edmund's privacy. <laughs> mm. then, With her friend, the girl yeah, you the met. Yeah, the friend in, the, in their room, yeah. their shared room. We went back to Jordan's hotel to, hotel to, to drink and hang out. Um, she brought back her friend for Jordan. And then around like six or seven or something, I went home, went back to my hotel. She came with. And but, but we had this very is where it gets quiet. Fun. Wait, wait. So Jared, Jordan's boy. Was inter- it was it, the the trip worked out well, right? Because we're like a big group of single guys, and they're a big group of single girls, and every single girl in their group was like interested in like someone One in our guy, group. Yeah. So like yeah, so like it all matched up, and then and then without knowing like the the matching, Jared invites the girl he's talking to. He's like, oh, she has friends, and we're like, oh, we're going on a boat. Invite them to the boat on Saturday. On Saturday, like daytime morning. So then invites them to the boat. We all go on this boat, and then the girl that he was just with that night pulls up, and he's like, what the f***? So then we're all chilling on the boat with them. They're very cool. I actually liked it. Yeah, like, they were cool. cool. And then Saturday was the day that I was allowing myself to drink. So then we go to District. We had, like, all these plans. We go to District. Um, Did you ever meet the owner of District? No. Oh. Never. I don't, I don't know if he f*** with us. Definitely not. Remember the whole Oh, yeah, yeah. F- pulled the rug out yeah, from yeah. that guy then. Yeah. But, uh, but Zach is the homie. Yeah. So Zach, Zach, Zach's holding us down. We got a table at District that night, and then, oh, and then Friday, we went to a different place before District, and we met, like, a bottle girl there who was a fan. So, so her coworker DM'd me on Instagram, being like, you should come to this new place. I work here, and I checked it out, and I was like, oh, it looks lit. Like, let's check it out for a bit. And in that, like, two hours that we were there, like, the owner came up to us, like, offered us, like, lounge seating. Then, like, the, one of the bottle girls, like, recognized us and was, like, chatting him up. And then that's who he invited Saturday to District. But now we're at district. Can I tell this? Yeah. So di- we're at district and <laughs> Jared is like very, like the guys are interested in the other girls of this group of the, like the girl he was with Friday night. From the first night. night. From the first yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. But it, because you guys also just hung out all day on a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. th- and then, so they are there too, right? And then he invites new girl. Well, question. You're on the boat hanging out with the girl that you just piped from the night before. She didn't speak one word to her. Yeah, I didn't really talk not, to not her. A, not, a, not a peep. So what is she doing on the boat? She's hanging just out with her friends. Okay, yeah. and you don't feel weird in that moment? No, I, I was very thankful to her. She wasn't being annoying. Okay, <laughs> and then in your brain, though, you were ready, in your brain, Saturday on the boat hanging out with this girl, not or being on the same vicinity, vicinity as her, you are ready thinking about who you're going to invite that yeah, night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was already thinking about what, what girl I wanted on Saturday. <laughs> got it, got it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like, so anyways. Yeah, yeah, so anyways. He invites, <laughs> just trying to get your thought process yeah, yeah, and all yeah. this. Yeah, I, I, I met three girls, but one of them had my mind, the whole, my, had my heart the whole time. <laughs> Hey, how though? How though? Is he you lying? Hit? Why are you laughing so hard? That's just funny. That is a ridiculous statement. You guys drink hard seltzer? We do. Yeah, we do. But most of them are gross. We are. We got that weird aftertaste. Yeah. Ours is very, very clean, Asian flavors, which no one's doing. Okay. Yeah. First one, Asian pear. Did you say Asian hair? Asian pear. Oh. I got Asian hair. I was gonna say, I'm like. <laughs> Wow, that's really actually good. Really good. You like it? I'm really picky. Really? What do you like, normally drink? This one's lychee. Man. I used to drink the fruit punch yeah. Trulies, and then eventually I'm like, okay, they're gross. Got over yeah. It. yeah. There you go. I'm showing you here the pear is really good. Pear and lychee are top two by yeah. far. Well, I appreciate you guys trying. It was really good. Yeah. Actually, we will, take, we will take this. Hey, you'll take a box? Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. Uh, do you mind if I use your reactions? No, I don't know. Uh, Great. I would have been gayer if I was just like... <laughs> oh, is it on? <laughs> It was so good. 
how that? How are you hanging out on this boat and not saying a word to the girl that I'm you with, just I'm with entered? The, I'm with my friends that I actually care about. Like I'd rather hang out with them. Okay. But weren't you guys all hanging out in a group? We like, were all hanging out in a group. So I'm just imagining no, no, the, the, the girls hang out. The, the girls were a vibe. It's not like, has his back turned. No, 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 no. It's not like he just wasn't like. I, I I would think that if I had just slept with a woman and I'm and hanging out with her the next day, like I'd be showing her some type of attention, yeah. right? Like yeah. aftercare. Don't, don't you know, Jeremy? The last time he went to Hawaii, he brought two girls the whole entire trip speak to, and yeah. didn't speak to them. Yeah. And and I was talking to them. Yeah, like I had to entertain them. I, <laughs> I was like, I was we're, like, we're painting dancing. a very bad picture of me right now. Uh, my fault. <laughs> anyways, uh, so then let me start lying. So anyway, so <laughs> no, was she like, was cool with the the, bro. She left. Like I fell asleep then, after. Uh, she, this girl was chilling. But yeah, by the way, yeah, she yeah, wasn't yeah. upset about uh-huh. anything. Let's make that uh-huh. clear, right? Which and is why it, I liked her so yeah, much. And it's not <laughs> like she was upset. But then can I can I get into the other yeah. girl? Uh, this is spicy. So then <laughs> now we're at district. He invites. He doesn't invite girl from pre- previous, but she's there with her friends, right? Because Jordan's trying to get with one of her friends. Jared's trying to get with, like, everyone's just pa- paired up already, right? Then yep. she- In your situation, you're like, no, stay away. Yeah, no, I didn't want any of her friends, but I had a friend that I had invited throughout the whole oh, trip. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I was like, something's but, missing about yeah. the story. <laughs> I was, no, but I'm not, like, be, engaging in degenerate behavior. It's, like, girl I talk to and I'm inter- and I'm interested in, like, we're... Anyways, continue fun. the story. Anyways. <laughs> and so then he invites new shorty and bro it was funny as hell because they both just understand what's happening and they're both just like fighting over it like 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 one girl will be th- throwing it back on him and then the other girl will be watching the second she like gets up for a second she pulls up immediately and is like trying to take the opening to like uh, I was, I was stressed up. yeah yeah and then he's <laughs> and then this is it this is it he's like oh I gotta go do something over here and then he'll go and he'll shuffle the ice around in the bucket <laughs> dude I was doing random all night. Yeah, yeah, and then he comes up to me. He's like, "Yo, talk, I got business to talk about with you." And he's like, "So, what's going on, man?" <laughs> Bro, there was. I was telling them there was one point where I was like just standing by the table, and I've like uh, one of one of the girls on the new one for that night. Well, I had her arms around me, and I felt the other one come over, come over the table, and like put her arm around me on the other side. And I was like, I, I froze. I was like, I don't know how to handle this. That's so, so I'm, I started looking around. I, I have this little move where I like. Pretend I'm looking for somebody. I'm like, fuck. Hey, like, hey, hey, hey. He does the sailor looking for land. Like, nobody looks around. He's, like, he's looking for a lifeboat. He's looking for saving. Dude, in a I, club. St- I started pulling out all the stops. I was like, nah, like, I can't be too lovey dovey in front of the fans and shit. Like, <laughs> But you wanted new girl though, ultimately. In that yeah. night, yeah. yeah. At that yeah. moment, he did. Damn. Wait, but these are these girls are fans, right? No, just that's random. Random. the second girl was both, a fan. Yeah. Both of them actually weren't like they told me like I didn't really know who you were, but my friends knew who you guys were. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Amber Alert! Amber Alert! Is that an Amber Alert? Yeah. Uh, podcast episode over. We have to go handle this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great Honda Civic, great Honda Civic. How they want us to react yeah. to Amber Alert, but instead we're like full sprint book. I'm like mute in this. You ruined the podcast. Yeah, like shut up, Amber God. Alert. I hey, hope you're okay though. Yeah, yeah child but, uh, abduction too. Damn. Yeah, no, that's kind of crazy. That's, I don't think I've ever seen that one. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> that night was low key a trip. That shit yeah. tripped me up. Yeah, and then so then I, as a good man, two o'clock, two forty rolls around. I'm like, oh, my bedtime. He did leave early that I night. Left. I was disgusted by what I was witnessing. You went back into the room with the girl that you are interested in. No, no she had left him. No, no, she okay, there was whole other drama that I'm not going to get into on the podcast. Oh, why? Why do you tell uh, we'll bitch drama? Okay, 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 just fine. go on the bonus this, this content. Go on the bonus content. Okay, okay so the tell the story content. and then I mark this. All right, so I, I had my girlfriend there, right? And then our girlfriend. Girl, friend. Friend who's a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I was just running around all night trying to actively avoid two women that wanted to f*** me. He wasn't avoiding one of them. You're- I was avoiding them in the sense that I, if the other girls, th- I don't want anybody to argue. I don't know, like, be crazy. Y'all be crazy. So I was like, I don't want to deal with this and I low-key feel awkward. I'm quite socially awkward yeah. right now. So I was doing my best <laughs> to like, literally, bro, I would like go play with the ice. I'm like, oh, is there enough in the bottle? Like, do we need another bottle? Hmm. Oh. You start seeing like sweeping the floor, <laughs> like doing, doing chores. Yeah, so I was literally doing that for like two, three hours. You say behind the bar, bar said then? <laughs> 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 but you see him at another table with the sparklers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so eventually we all go back to the hotel. I took a nap. Wait, th- both girls came to the hotel too? Yeah. Holy shit. And uh, the girl, the girl from the first night 
th- this is why I say I like her so much. She knew what was up, and she just, like, wasn't mad, nothing. And um, went home with the second one. Did my thing. Left in the morning. She did was, your what? Did my thing. What's your, what's your thing? Not it, not, you know. <laughs> he did a bad thing. Not it in her. <laughs> and, uh. That's crazy. What wait. the f- <laughs> You didn't use protection? No. Dude, that's, that's his thing. He man. does he hates protection. Yeah. Anyways, Scoot continue away, on man. the story. Get away from me. But yeah, so I left after after we had she was like very lovey dovey and it kinda like made me shut down. So I left back to the back to the crib. He's like, ew, feelings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only, uh, only raw unprotected <laughs> with a <laughs> no feelings, <yeah>. please. <laughs> Soul tie. I'm just wedges. so glad that you and I are together so we don't have to deal with that yeah, stuff. My, my future wild. girlfriend Stressful. doesn't see this. Wild. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, whatever. I went home. We went about a day. And it just so happens that the almost exact scenario happened again where <laughs> her fr- the, the, this new girl has very hot friends yeah. that my very hot friends are attracted to. So I'm like, I don't want to hang out with them again. Like, I don't want to hang out with her. My friends are like, we want to. I grabbed him by his shirt. I was like, listen, a little <laughs> So she texts. So, okay, funny ass part of the story we left out was that he broke his phone like day oh, one. Oh, yeah. So, bro, he's getting these girls' numbers on my phone. Like, <laughs> like literally, I give him my phone and he goes, and then, and then they're texting me. And there are times when he's not around and they're texting me and I'm just like responding to being vit because they're like, yeah. what time should we pull up? And I'm like, I know what time we're getting there. So he's I'm like, just like, put your nipple in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what would Vit say? What would Vit say? She's like, what time should I meet you? I'm just like, put your nipple in my mouth. <laughs> but, ah, you're so silly. I want you more. <laughs> but anyways, that was a funny part of So now, so this... Uh, Bleep that. Bleep. Bleep that name. This girl has my number. She texts me that next day on Sunday. She's very strategic, this woman. How genius. Yeah. Text me, hey, I have a really hot friend who's interested. Like, like, and I'm like, show me. <laughs> I literally sent her the salute emoji and I was like, wait, show me. Sends me Instagram. I'm like, what are we doing later? <laughs> and then and then she basically, so then uh, so then I go to him, I'm like, he's like, I don't really want to hang out with her. I'm like, listen, brother. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we all do what we don't want to do. I was like, sometimes. be a wingman for once in your life. Literally, yeah. I was just like, I don't want to hear it. You're doing this one time. And then he was just like, all right, fine. So then we all hung out. We all went to like this rooftop bar. She brought her friend. She actually brought an extra friend who ended up hitting it off with Jared. So also worked out. But the friend she brought, I genuinely also really vibed with. She was cool. She was very cool. Wait, so... Was that the best night of your of Hawaii? That, yeah, I think so. That last night, Sunday, because like, it was like because no, Saturday was like too much drama, too much drinking. Mm. It made me realize like I think I am over with like the hardcore par- partying, like bottle service lifestyle. Really? Yeah, just like was not having fun. Is it because you weren't getting like super drunk, or was that the night you did? get I drunk? get drunk. I got okay. drunk. And you didn't like it? Yeah, yeah, no, I was just like, damn, I don't need to get this drunk like like, Interesting. like I had no purpose of drinking that much other than I'm just in an environment where I'm like unless I'm drunk I can't even exist here mm. so I was like I don't need to be putting myself in those environments it's hard because two of my really good friends that I do most things with socially in LA are still the age of like going yeah. out all the I time mean, you're 24 that's 25. what I'm saying and I don't blame them for living yeah, like that yeah. but I'm like I can't live like that so guys what are now, we doing next now you know <laughs> how I, now you know how I feel no I I've been known how I never <laughs> Clowned you too hard I'm for not coming. I'm a huge partier. I still go out and I club all the time. I'm so young. She needs. <laughs> you don't don't group me with this guy, <laughs> please. I love. I was love. out last I'm week. So, I'm so young. <laughs> yeah, so wait, young. Wait. So the third night though, you had new girl you wanted, and then so, second girl oh night. My so God. now it was like you're doing in the same situation with two. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell the story. Yeah. The third night, we we didn't go to any club or anything. We went to Sky, where we shot the last podcast. Isn't that a club? No, no, no. no it's like a it's, rooftop. No. It's like a lounge. A a rooftop lounge. No, no, no. That's on Saturdays, oh, Fridays. Oh, yeah. It was it was a, it was a vibe. I liked yeah. it. The sky is amazing. Oh, we almost got in a fight at that yeah, place. Yeah, I was I was gonna nice, lead into nice. that, bro. There's this random dude, like random drunk, like white dude, like European white. Like, yeah. yeah, and he's um, he's like. What's up, <laughs> little <laughs> man? Basically, yeah, yeah. But yeah. no, nah, he um, he w- They were in the bathroom. We just got there. They went to the bathroom. I'm watching this dude. Like he's there with his girlfriend, right? And I see him like stand up and walk to the bar to order drinks or whatever. And I'm in my head. I'm like, that dude's literally stumbling. Like he's drunk as. Mm. And blah blah blah. Whatever. They come back. We're ordering our drinks. 
there's like a little like a stanchion. Is that what it's called? Stanchion. Yeah, stanchion thing that divides us. He's on the right, we're to the left. The bartender comes and he's like, uh, you guys were here first. Let me get your orders. The dude's like, no, no, no. I was here first. I was here first. He's ordering drinks, right? I'm literally talking, talking to the bartender because yeah. he's accepting my order. And then this dude yeah. is trying to talk over them. <laughs> he so wants the order so bad. Yeah. But then, so the bartender <laughs> looks at him. He's like, bro, chill. Like, shut up. He, uh, the bartender goes to make the drinks. Wu Talk's like standing, like, like, I'm like leaning, leaning on the, on the bar counter. Like this. Yeah. And I see this dude, like, just stare at him. Stare at him. Turn, like, like, I'm talking, like, yeah, trying to intimidate him. And I look at him, I'm like, well, can I help you? And he puts his arm, like, right up to mine. And he's like, you know, I can kill you. Yeah. And no I'm like, way. And, I'm like, yeah. and this guy's not big. Like, he's like maybe an inch taller than me, not broad. Like, there's no intimidating in that factor of, of it. <laughs> I can't think of it. I will murder you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? He had more of like a Serbian, up, like Polish Co- accent. Ma- oh, that's scary. Yeah, yeah. Wait, not, wait, it what? wasn't scary on uh, him. He had like no facial. He was like, he looked like a, he looked young. He, he looked, looked like, like a, I like, kill you. Nah, <laughs> he looked like a twink. Yeah, now nah, he looked young. <laughs> and then so I'm like, are you, is this guy dead ass right now? And he's just talking hella shit to me. That's like and hella I'm like, small uh, Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, bro, shut the f- up. Like, like what, like, I forget what I said, but I said some that pissed him off because he's like oh, he starts tweaking right and then the bartender comes over he's like is this guy bothering you he's like are you bothering them he's like, and then he, the bartender was getting mad because he's like what the f- is wrong with you and then jordan's listening to that i see jordan's eyes like turn off like he yeah. went into like terminator mode yeah he goes stand he goes around and he's just standing next to this guy staring at him basically the, the same, same way that yeah. he was staring at me jordan loves a good fight yeah yeah oh, and yeah, that we was were like, yeah yeah ever, and it's just like why are you trying to pick a fight with like five grown men yeah. right and it's like this guy, so then the bartender is now beefing with him. Now the him and the bartender are beefing, but then the guy turns to Jordan, sees Jordan standing there. He's, Jordan has a Gatorade. He's like, why the f*** are you drinking Gatorade? And Jordan's like, I like it. And he's like, that's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is gay to raid. <laughs> Bad joke, man. Anyways. Hey, leave him alone. Anyway, and then the guy just, and then eventually the guy was talking so much shit to the bartender that the bartender throws his ass out. By now, the whole bar is watching, obviously, right? Because yeah. it's like a loud, dramatic yeah. beef. And then the, the, I'm talking old people. He, the guy's getting dragged out, and we're like, goodbye. Like, all of us are waving <laughs> at him. Like, and then motherfuckers are clapping, standing behind us. Like, this old dude, like 65 plus white guy, was standing behind me, like, bye bye. Like, <laughs> Wait, did he come by himself, this guy? No, no he, he came with his girlfriend. girlfriend. His girlfriend. And then I see his girlfriend storm out, yeah. like, not even talk to him, like, just walk when he, when out When he the was getting building. kicked out, his girlfriend left, didn't look back once. That's He's so standing at the door trying to argue, trying to fight. I think yeah. he swings on one of, like, security guards. Yeah, yeah, there. Uh, they literally had to drag That's his ass so out of there. That's so embarrassing. Wait, okay, so... And then Jordan called his girlfriend ugly. And I was and like, he's still, he's She caught a stray? Yeah. Damn. She was actually kind of hot. Yeah, she was not ugly. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan said that? We were like, damn, we should go down there and beat his ass and go talk to his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> In my head, when, when you said that Jordan's like, like went into Terminator mode. I don't know why, but I pictured him with that army like sweatpants with the little pink <laughs> <laughs> ribbons. No, no, no. Jordan no, was like, in a tank top too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, was like, I was like, bro, he was like, it was Wu talk to his left, Jordan on his right, pressing him. I'm behind him, and then when when the bartender comes back and asks him like, what's going on, he, bro, he starts lying. He's like. Oh, they're like they're, 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 look at them they're surrounding me blah 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 yeah, he starts to play the victim he's like I don't know they're just like bullying me he's like, like yeah. grape grape and uh-huh. the guy was like you're not serious right now he's like you know I'm standing right here I can hear everything yeah. you're saying to them and he's like and that's not at all what I'm and hearing and the whole time I'm like chill bro like we don't want no problem I'm trying right. to be the peacemaker I'm like chill the f- we're just here to have fun. We're just visiting, blah, blah, Damn. blah. Imagine that was his first date. Maybe that wasn't even his girlfriend. No, he said, he said, I'm just here with my girlfriend. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, you stupid. But yeah, so anyways, that, that so whole ordeal happens. Mouth. Then the girls pull up. Second girl from the second night. She pulls up with her friends. We hit it off. I'm trying it. to actively avoid her now. because <laughs> I, I have this weird little thing, bro. It's like, once we hook up, like, I'm like I don't want to see you again. Let love in for once. Nah. That's what I was telling him. I'm like, come on, yeah. brother. You're just, no, it's, it's just it's tearing different. your soul apart, it's man. It's different if we if we like pursue each other, like talking Properly. a little bit. Yeah. But if it's a one night stand and I've like you know it's a one night stand, I know it's a one night stand. I don't want you around anymore. But that's that's what I, that's why Why'd it's like a tell dangerous her thing. Scram! I did tell her. Oh that. yeah, then it was not Scram. No, but it was like that. her. She had hot friends, and then they yeah, all. Yeah, no, I understand. So I, just but it was like, I, I, I even like I sat her down. I was like, yeah, you're you sat you're, her down. I was like, you're quite you know lovey dovey, and I'm not trying to do all that. Coach sat coach sat down the player. He was like, yeah, yeah. you didn't make the roster. <laughs> you and put they, in a good tryout, but we don't. 
Damn. We're not going to sign you to a 10 day contract. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, it's just like the whole night was like, I'm talking to my friends, but they're also talking to the girls. I'm talking to Edmund. Oh. Edmund got a girl, so he's like out the way. I'm talking to him. I'm like, yeah, I'm like not having fun. Uh, my other girl gets off work at like 11.30, so I'm just yeah. waiting for that. This but is then, girl number three, by the way. Not, yeah, not yes, but this girl number three is the one that had my heart the whole time. Okay. Okay. Why? why? Just, she was, a, she she was so the last pretty. one. She's just so pretty. Yeah. She's so beautiful. <laughs> she was the last one. What? Hey. Remember that one girl you brought to the podcast a long ass time ago that we met? Didn't she live in Hawaii? Oh. Who? On the podcast? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I know exactly who you're talking about. She does live in Hawaii. I don't think they talk anymore. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. We ended up going back to her house so that everybody could hang out. We're playing beer pong, whatever. And I invited the girl that I liked. You're a crazy to, to, man. To her why house? Why to her own yeah. house. Why did you just... I asked her, and she said it was cool. Okay, so no, you no, told she, her ahead of time I that just have one here's a girl that I was with last night, and you're coming to her house. How did you ask her? I was like, hey, we have an extra few friends pulling up. Like, is that she's, cool? Okay, she was she's like, so cool. chill. You're but a in like a. No, she's not chill because she made a big she deal. She started of it. tweaking, okay, obviously. Okay, I have a question. So the first one is the one that's super chill. And you're like, I appreciate yeah, yeah. her. Yeah, Second cool. one was the one that was kind of like. Friends, very annoying. Okay. Not, not chill. Huffer. Cool. I like her. Okay, cool okay, girl. Okay. But I'm saying, like, in this situation, understandably, <laughs> oh not chill. Girls, yeah. girls, girls. Well, no, honestly, she was still pretty chill about it. Her dumb friend was the one that was annoying. Oh, really? Her friend started pressing the new girl. She's like, oh, you're like, who, you do, do you know, who, who do you know, know here? here? <laughs> oh, what are you, a frat boy? Shut the f*** up. Mm. It was funny. Anyways. Wait, I say that to people. Like, just no, no, to no, like, like, she, like, like, she was being a bitch. In the, oh. in the bitchy way. Oh, oh, oh. And then, <laughs> yeah, so we, we left. I was like, I'm not dealing with this. Like, we're not dating. I told you what it was. Like, and the whole time, like, Bro, it'd be different if I if we talk one time and I'm like, yeah, like I like you as a person. I told her that I like you as a person. I think you're really sweet. I think you're really cool and fun. You know, you just don't do that lovey dovey shit with me, and we'll be cool for the night. She goes right back to trying to hang on my arm and hug me around my my mom. She was my, not getting like the. It wasn't even hints. Like he's telling telling her directly what not to do, yeah. and she's just doing it. So. I was like, all right. At this point, I'm getting like annoyed. At this point, I'm starting to not like you. So at that point, I didn't care. Like, I'm inviting this new girl over. Kind of hoping I we would get kicked out, to be honest. Bro, and what's funny is, is I was hanging out with my, my friend. And then uh, I go to the bathroom. And in the bathroom, I hear the meltdown ha happening. Like, I can hear the drama popping off, right? Second I come out the bathroom, I'm mobbed by four people being like, you got to go talk to Vit. You got to blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what the f*** just happened? And who's, then, who's asking you to talk to Vit? The, girls? the girl that the two, the two, not my girl that I'm talking to, the two girls... And like, out of like some guy was like, what, like we're about to dip, like type shit. And I'm like watching all this. I'm like, I went to the bathroom, <laughs> and like in like I took a piss. And in like the time it took me to pee and come out, like everything had fallen. Yeah, no, bro, because I like, brought the girl in, and then I went to like I forgot what I did. I think I went back outside to like smoke a cig or something. Came back, and they were like, started the the annoying friend started trying to press me. She was like, Why'd you bring her here? Why'd you bring her? And I just looked at her and I smiled and like, We can leave. I know damn well your friends want my friends here, but just because I don't like you, we can leave. We got a place to go. I got the people I care about. I don't give a f about this place. We can leave. And then I, I left, and they started tweaking. They're like, no, 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 don't leave, don't leave. We didn't say it was that. We just, you damn. know, we're just trying to figure out why you invited her. I'm like, because I done told your friend I don't want her to hug me and shit, and she keeps doing it. Damn. It was why I mean, uh, wow. overall though, I was still just like that was I was like I to, I was like you shouldn't have done that. Like that's a. Yeah. disrespectful move mm -hmm. but overall was it was very complicated yeah it just was like the craziest drama popping off that I'm like y'all in like paradise have, like a, yeah I was like damn I was having a great night hey, singles <laughs> inferno as no not even singles inferno that, that was, was love polite. island bro okay yeah. it was love it was, it was like love island, island cause yeah. it, bro we're on, only in Hawaii for like four days right yeah. Each like there's a new couple every single night. Like it, <laughs> it was it was almost exactly. There's like the always violin. drama too. Yeah. Always drama. Damn. Jeez. But you'd be like, good it, on a reality show. In my head though, it's just like the whole time I was just thinking like y'all are tweaking almost that exact same thought. What I think when I watch Love Island, it's like <laughs> I've known you for a day. Shut yeah. the up. Like yeah, you are it, you are genuine. You're uh, ah. <laughs> it's, it's also because these girls are really young. Yeah, like, girl, like girls they're very get possessive. Very like quickly, they're yeah. very like possessive like it's one of those like immature where they're just like i saw him first so like hands yeah. off it's just like not it in her that's a soul no, tie yeah, yeah yeah that's not like that's what i'm saying i'm like uh, she's fully valid of like thinking she that. told me to oh, oh yeah how come i tell you to show up to work on time you don't yeah. do it 
But what when he like tells you to nut in him, you're <laughs> auto auto can nut. Yeah. Come I on, can't man. show up 12 minutes earlier, but he could nut in random women yeah. and then be upset <laughs> that they act fucking attached. No. Sherlock, there's a there's a there's a chemical thing yeah, that changes. Yeah, if you in don't their brain. want a girl to act crazy, don't f- her raw and then f- lie to her and then invite a different girl to her house. <laughs> she f- me, dude. I just laid there. <laughs> He's the pillow princess. <laughs> she, she tried to get me to get up and switch positions. I'm like, I'm tired. I might go back. <laughs> I'm hungover. I might go back to sleep. I'm just imagining Vitz the screamer. Damn. But yeah, so that was a wife. He, uh, out of, he, he opts out of the rest of the. I, I, do, I, I, I would out. never understand why they continue to stick around. Because uh, I'm a you'd cool, be, funny you'd, guy. You'd, no, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen here, hey, bud. That's, that's, they haven't been hugged by their fathers. That's the biggest no, sign. No I, no, I mean, listen, <laughs> listen, bud. We know you're cool, but like, if I was, if I was a, if I was in their position, I'd be like this like I, i'll be like no. i do think it's a level of having enough self-respect that this, when something is not going to, in, in a situation that it respects you you should opt out but yes. like, i also sit there and i tell them like one like but every single girl other than the one on the third night i i like went up to her but at that point she had already, she had already found me cute so it's whatever the other two girls came up to me i didn't go up to them they, they <laughs> bagged me they got me drunk. Yeah, yeah, hey, oh hey, hey. you communicated everything, but at the same time, yeah, uh, like it, it's not you, that you you didn't you, do anything scummy and like you didn't like untruthful. Yeah, you yeah, didn't yeah, lie yeah. to any of them. You, but like it's like you could still handle the, the only situation. the only thing that I yeah you can handle things with grace and dignity and like the definite thing you should not have done is invite Five that girl to her house. That's yeah. just no, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> he did apologize to her in the moment, but and she was like, she's cool. This she's is cool the cra- this is even crazier because oh, no. we're going inside to apologize. You know I like tea, but it's overloading. I, we're, yes, I'm sitting here leaning over. Yeah, yeah. I, I went out. We, I spoke to him. He, he was like, I should apologize. We're going inside, right? Bro, and the whole time we went over this to her place, she's like, by the way, we have to be quiet when we're outside the house because my neighbor is literally psychotic. She's a psycho. And I was like, yeah, 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 psycho neighbor. Bro, I'm talking. I was opening the door. This small Asian lady comes fucking running, like old Asian lady, like t- tosses me out the way, like literally physically checks me out the way. I'm like, what the f- Oh, bangs on the door like trying to break it down door opens she walks in the house st- steps in the house and it's that it's the friend that third friend that's like kind of like you know has an attitude and she's like what the f-? you can't come in here that's elite. and now it's just two f- screaming at each other and this woman does not speak english so she's screaming at her yeah. in chinese like top of the lungs screeching like like anger like i will kill you type words Holy and then shit. the other girl does not know what she's saying so yeah. she's just like I'm calling my father, like blah blah blah. These are <laughs> like crazy. these are like rich girls too, yeah. right? So they're, she's hitting her with the classic. Dude, like, that's some get my out parents shit. will hear about this. What then I see that? the woman's yeah. daughter, who's like probably like younger, like or maybe twenties, eighteen, right? Coming down, looking so exhausted and just like, oh my god, god. imagine that's your mom. She came over there and she's like translating for her. She's like, she's, she hasn't slept in like three days, and she's basically saying she hasn't slept in three days, blaming it on this chick's crib. And it's like, what could this girl possibly be doing? We've like, only been there one day. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We were like, it's like I get like a party where people are like outside talking and she might have bothered you, but like, what could she have done the previous night and the night before that? It's like, Damn. there's no way. And she was just tweaking, and then they eventually the girl that actually lives there comes down, hard beef. Eventually, the shorty goes back to her crib, and yeah, and then we're just like, we're so sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> so I literally walked Goodbye. out, and I, I, I literally just like yelled out loud. I'm like, I'm leaving. I'm getting overwhelmed. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I, honestly, this doesn't even sound like it was a fun trip. Oh, it was hella fun. <laughs> the the way that fun. you guys described it, I, I, was, I, left, I was stressed out. I, I left with the girl I, I liked. And the we third had a, girl? We had a very fun night, yeah. Did you uh her as well? No, 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 no. Okay. Good boy. Yeah, he learned after four days of being a dirty Debatrous boy. Man. Hey, else. I've had in like six months. I have to make up. I counted. It's not six months. Yeah. <laughs> just a calendar in a room. Yeah. <laughs> Marked. It's been a while since I had sex. So I'm on vacation. I'm a This whole story leads to the greatest topic of this episode. What? What gives off side chick energy? Oh. <laughs> I feel like Vit is very well equipped to answer this yeah. question. I don't have side chicks. I don't say you have side chicks. <laughs> I just said you are well equipped to answer this question. Uh I don't know. When you linger around when you're clearly not wanted. Oh. That's like the worst one. Like that. 
Good answer. Girl. Yeah, you can't catch a hint. It's just yeah. like, yeah, no, honestly, when they can't catch a hint or they're they're just like having that idea that they might get you. Especially when you've told her flat out, like, hey, I don't yeah. want to. And I won't, I'm going to defend her. It's not that she wasn't wanted there. It's that she was doing things that she should not have been doing. Yeah, I would have, bro, I told yeah. her, I'll be cool with you. Like, I'm cool with you I here. fucked with her. I, like, I was like, yeah, we're, we're having a Tell your jokes, have some fun, let's have yeah. some conversation, get your drinks, I'm, I'll buy you drinks and shit. And it's like, just don't touch me she kept touching me <laughs> hey man next time don't sleep with her <laughs> if i knew that was how she was gonna act i would have went home you should assume everyone's gonna act like that but yeah um it's another good one mm. side chick energy yeah <laughs> doing too much for a guy allowing for- yourself to be disrespected mm. <laughs> that's a big that's one. the ultimate thing that's the but ultimate like, one what are what exhibits those behaviors like what shows that you aren't you got no respect for yourself coming back all the time being too available, yeah. like if you're too available, like you're you're leaving yourself open for getting used by a bad person. I think in that situation in the club, it's like if you're not um, if you're not straightforward. Like if you see that the guy that you're with is talking to other girls and you don't confront him or you wait till he's done to then cuddle up with him. Yeah, like that's not to, to, that's not exactly, energy to, to get. Ch- it's literally. To be chosen, knowing you're just an option of many, yeah. Literally with with your eyeballs, like seeing it, and then just still being like, well, if I could be chosen, please pick me. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. it's like, okay, well, you've doomed yourself to side chick status for the rest of your life. <sighs> R.I.P. What's this here? Like not in your head? No. What else? Oh no, no, I'm saying that uh, I would, I would never be that person. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so if ever- I'm not wanted there, or if I, if I'm, I'm not getting the attention that I want to, mm-hmm. I would bounce like period i'm not gonna like like stand there and hope like he gives me attention yeah you know what i mean i'm just gonna be like need okay to, need to do bye yeah. like you don't like me that's cool you know but i'm gonna go somewhere else that's it i'm trying to think of what we were talking about that gave me that question idea it was like somebody from discord she did something crazy where i was like that is the ultimate side chick <laughs> yeah i think it was like um let me think for a second what was her situation I think that's the biggest one. It's like any time you're, you're, uh, you're clearly not the one, you're, yeah, you yeah. come back. Yep. Boundaries. Not having strong enough boundaries is essentially the line of it. I was thinking like if you keep giving and giving and all he's doing is taking and not giving back, mm-hmm. then you're yeah. side chick energy. And it's also like, it's like there's one night stands, obviously, which is most of those, right? But mm-hmm. it's like, so it's not exactly the same. But if they were to... If he was to like keep hitting them up and they keep coming, that's side yeah. chick energy, mm-hmm. you know. So like as of right now, you're definitely you're not even at the promotion of a side chick. I'm very, yes. I'm very respectful. I never hit them up again. <laughs> wait, wait. It is crazy that you will flirt in front of them though. This is a. It was just like the craziest like, and then like everyone's just everyone had a good ass time. Wait, you though. never hit them up like you. They ha- happened to show up just because of the groups. And then the one time he brought them because okay, they yeah, wanted yeah, the friends. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So I, I, I never, once we did our thing for the night, like the, the, the first girl was cool. She's like, I'll, I'm leaving at six. I'm like, no, you can spend the night. Like, no, I'm, I'm going home at six. I'm do your thing. And, and, then, that, and that second girl was strategic. Cause she's definitely, yeah. she told him about, oh, I have a friend for your friends. He sent the profile. But then later she, she texted me directly. Cause I had already stopped responding to her. Yeah. And so she texted me directly to make sure I got the Instagram and was like, Hey, this girl wants you. What's up? And was like, and I was like, I also would like to meet this woman. I got another good side chick energy. What? Guy goes out and when he texts her, what are you doing? She was already about to sleep. And we'll pay for our own Uber to his house. Uh, oh. No, I don't consider that side chick energy. That that's side chick energy. That's queen energy. That is, <laughs> keep it up. That is, yeah. That is side chick energy. It's like nah. you weren't even planning, you weren't even out, and now you're paying maybe, for your own Uber to that. How are you going to punish guy? her yeah. for liking a guy? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if the guy is <laughs> to her, then yes, side chick energy. But what if that's just her man's? Yeah, but I'm, 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 it's a difference if it's already her man's versus like not your man's, but like the guy you're talking to, talking to. Look at Esther's face during all this. I'm disgusted by by how these women's w- these women will act. I'm yeah. just so am I. Women, huh? Uh, so am I. I mean, yeah. No, I, Both I mean, the men and I mean, women. I'm not. Say, I'm not saying everyone, that everyone has parts to play in all of it. No, no, I know. I, I know yeah. that like Vit did his part. They, she did her part. But I'm just like, come on, man. What? I mean, you had you took some part in make. Yeah, the you, only thing I did wrong was invite the other girl, and I apologize. Other than that, yeah. the harassed me all night. <laughs> I don't like this pi- this picture being painted. Don't, 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 don't call 
I think it's it's no it's no picture being painted. It's just you know. No, I'm just. It I'm takes just, two I'm to just tango saying, in every situation. Hundred percent, hundred percent. What's the what's this shroom trip? Oh, so, the chicken. so <laughs> on I think Friday we went to North Shore and I took. Oh, we jumped off a big rock. Oh, we were cliff top jumping. That was wild. Mm-hmm. Are you cool. allowed to? Does it? Yeah, yeah. You're Isn't a, it dangerous? It's, it was dangerous, but not from like the height. It wasn't very high. It was more like the cur- it was far enough out that the current was strong. It would pull you back if you timed it incorrectly. Damn. So you had to time the wave so that the wave pushed you to shore. And even then, like you, at a certain point, you're going to be fighting current swimming. So you just have to stop, pause when it's pulling back, and then restart when the wave's coming again. Dude, I see those videos of like don't jump into white water or swim into white oh, water yeah, on white TikTok. Cats. Yeah, like bubbly water. It's like you literally sink in it. That shit terrifies me because I'd be looking at the ocean. I'm like, it's all white. Like <laughs> all of it looks unsafe. No, no. It was, it was, Can you it was see fun. like the rocks when you like look down and like the water is clear enough where you could see rocks? And no, like, it was what deep. You... The water was deep. It was probably like 20 feet. Hawaii is even more dangerous though because it's reef and reef is razor blades. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's like the sharpest. I was watching other people jump off first. Okay. Yeah. I, okay, I yeah. definitely was going to at least do that. I'm not, I'm not no maverick. I'm not no yeah. pioneer. You're right? not a white boy. You're not yeah, in the yeah. white boy fun. I was watching the white boys doing crazy gainers and flips yeah. off this shit. I'm like, no, it's, a, it's a popular place that yeah, people yeah. Okay. jump it's, off. It's a common place. Oh, God. Yeah, I'd be so scared to do that. Hey, do you hold your nose when you jump I did jump off. No swag. <laughs> no swag. <laughs> Motherfucker ain't no swag. I was just trying to make it. I was, gonna I, do it. I was standing up there like, damn. <laughs> you see him kicking too? He flails when he jumps. He's like. <laughs> Bro, no, that shit was low key hard though. Cause I, I was going to do a backflip. I got up and I seen it. I'm like. Hell no backflip, no flip. <laughs> Wait, Either ladies. I jump now or I climb back down like a loser. I gotta jump. Yeah, true. That's the worst too when you go cliff jumping. It's like if it's high, you're like, I cannot be the guy that has to walk back down. Oh, Everybody no. on the a beach. lot of people had to walk back down. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was scary. I'm telling you that the, the waves were scary. You, at like that point, you... you die. <laughs> you're ready to die. <laughs> but anyways, okay. So I'm tripping this day, right? And then we go to get like shrimp truck stuff, and I'm tripping a little hard, so I'm I opt out of standing in line, and I just go lay on this. Uh, table. I sit on this table and I'm watching. You know how there's chickens and shit, right? And I'm watching these chickens interact. There's just wild chickens and, and rooster. And I'm watching them and I'm just like, I'm like, I'm looking at this rooster. I'm like, this rooster's so cocky. Like, it's just walking around, <laughs> chest out, right? I'm like, and now it's just funny because it's like, it's called a cock and there's like all these like stereotypes of like rooster being a cocky animal, right? And I'm like, walk, watching a walk. I mean, like, no wonder it gets that rep. Then I'm looking at the chickens and I'm looking at the, like, the hens and the hens aren't looking at anything, just face down eating, right? And I'm like- Giving side chick energy. No, 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 not giving side chick energy. <laughs> but then I'm watching and I'm just like, huh, interesting. And I'm like, it's so cool that like, it was just watching like the symbiosis of like the gender relationship of these chickens, right? Like the rooster and hen, that the rooster is head up at all times looking around for beef, like straight up. <laughs> like when shit would pop up like a- mouse or whatever it would run after it so why are you looking at my girls yeah, legit, but like legit like you like and then but then i'm like the hens don't look up once ever because they know the rooster got them and mm. it's like that's the relationship that create lets them do shit basically right it's like the rooster is going to die defending the chickens so that the chickens can keep laying eggs and spreading their population right oh, the and rooster's then, a ride or die huh? yeah the rooster is a ride or die and then the hens trust that the rooster got them so that they're like it, think of you're a useless animal like a chicken and you got your head down eating like with no worry in the world. Like I could have came and just punted you like a <laughs> hundred yards. You would have died. Yeah, but, but you know what's funny? Uh, another rooster could pull up, up the other rooster and he takes all his girls. Yeah, and then he, he claims, oh, new protector. It's well, true. hey, you're stronger. You're Ain't a better protector. loyal. <laughs> but it's like, but it was just, cool. I'm tripping watching this. So in that frame of mind, I'm like, wow, how beautiful. I'm like, and with Loki, like that's how... <laughs> That's how, you know, humans were back in the day, too. Now it's a little bit different. You Wait, know. You're, so you're tripping and thinking about all this? Yeah. yeah. Now, Jeff, now Jeff Bezos will take your <laughs> I don't think Jeff Bezos No, when, when you, uh, when you do shrooms, like, everything in life is just, like, it's yeah, crazy. Just, I've, no, I've, never, I've never done and it, everything, so. you know? I love how you said, I don't think Jeff Bezos could take my bitch. Jeff Bezos, if you're out there, do you get, I just want uh, you to try. Pull, pull up yeah. on me, Jeff Bezos. Let's, I want to see him try. You're old ass. I'll never, ever date a woman or care about a woman that could get taken by Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is like, I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> he has the time today. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, ladies, isn't it ick if a, if a guy is diving and he does that? <laughs> Comment. I didn't dive. I jumped. <laughs> did you scream? Did you let out? Oh, or like. Ah! I did not scream, but also my my computer died. So. Oof. Oh. Oh. But sh- speaking of Jeff Bezos, take a break while I get the. Should we no, no, eat? No, here, just go run and get a plug. What were you saying about Jeff speaking Bezos? Of Jeff Bezos taking Wu Tang. 
<laughs> Ian, you got a, speak Ian, you got a you got a story you want to tell? True wait for we talk to get back. Uh, I don't know. Thanks for ruining my Does transition. Does he know the dude. story? Oh yeah, he does know the story. Yeah, you can start. Know the story. Come, come sit over here. <laughs> this story was funny. So in the in the uh, in the nature of you know, recently we've uh, we've had trouble. I've had troubles opening up to you guys, the audience, because you guys like to make fun of me. Cameraman, <laughs> cameraman. Yeah, and uh, we're just you know we're trying to bring that vibe back. Just friends talking to each other, opening up, and our friend Ian. What happened, Ian? So, um, I recently went to a concert. I recently went to a concert. <laughs> and um, it was, like, uh, just us two. And um, anyways, L.A. got to be the only city in the world where your girl can get stolen by a girl, bro. Like... <laughs> what did you buy? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. We were like on the dance floor and we were just dancing. And I look over and she's just like making out with this other girl. Damn. And it's like, like what? I can't press the other girl. I have to eat that. You know what I mean? I just had to kind of had to be like, I guess. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Ian's like, um, excuse me. He, like, she came with me. Was the other girl like, would you say like you lost to a formidable opponent? Like, was or was bad? she like, like Quasimodo? Yeah, she was pretty hot. What? But she was also <laughs> probably like, she was probably like up like mid thirties. Like she was like kind of oh, older. older women. Yeah. Um, was she a mask or a femme? Um, more feminine appearing. More feminine. Are you and sure she was mid thirties? Because you are young, so you may think that she's she's twenty four. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, you may think that younger. You know. How, so how did it roll? So you two are dancing. Then that older woman just like just next to each other though. We weren't oh. like dancing on each other. We were just kind of like dancing like next to each other. And then like I turned around for like one second, and then it was raps. Like she was like completely intertwined with this other girl. Damn. Oh, and also, <laughs> cut that. Uh, she and I are both super fucked up. Like, um. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of the story. But so yeah, so <laughs> so she she leaves with this woman. And Wait, excuse me? <laughs> literally, like literally, literally, she's like, she's like, I'm gonna go, and I was like, uh, I'll bet I guess. So she dips, and then like 20 minutes later, she comes back, and she's like, oh, it turns out like she ha- she came with another guy, and like the guy was like propositioning a threesome. And That's so did she, did she do it? No. No, back. so she came back, okay. and then we just ha- we just kept hanging out. Like nothing happened. It was so wild. Wait, okay, but as okay, but as a friend that went to the to like a concert together, isn't that kind of like not okay to do to try to leave with someone else? I'll give her the benefit of the doubt that they were hammered. Okay. Unless yeah. you feel differently, and you're like, no, 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 no. no. Honestly, shit. more than anything, I was just like concerned because I was like. I hope she's fine with this stranger. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. and it was like a rave. Like, it wasn't like, like, it was like, if she gets lost, I'm never finding her again. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's like. Um, so you just stood in that spot, not knowing if she was going to come back. Well, she was like, I'm leaving. And, and I, I don't know. It was like loud. So I was like, okay, I hope she comes back. And then she ended up coming back. So, Damn, that's wild. Yeah. But that was that. But Damn. it's just like, I don't know. Like, what do you, there's nothing you can really do in that situation. Cause it's just like. Yeah, man, cuss her out. <laughs> <laughs> Ian has a lot of interesting stories about dating. Actually, <laughs> there's Wait, another one. <laughs> um, um, does that does that make you kind of feel like okay, I'm not really gonna try for this woman anymore? Oh, I mean, like <laughs> <laughs> if we hang out, we hang out, you know, like yeah. Um, I mean, you clearly like her. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, if you, I feel like it's like at this point, she's kind of made it clear. You're in the friend zone? Yeah. Probably, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's say from, from the panel of people that will only tell you the truth, what do you think? I mean, it's cooked, but... Yeah. It's, <laughs> yep. You got to find, find yourself... At least you know it's cooked. I think, hey, I think your only opportunity ever is to hook up with that 30-year-old that she wanted <laughs> and make her jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. You're, what you got to do is just take this as a lesson, move on, level up, and... Uh, you know what makes uh, girls kind of interested, what? but like not truly interested, but you know, a little bit Sparks is, back. no, it's, it's basically like just not texting her like back or giving her like kind of dull answers because they, it makes them curious what happened. Yeah. They're, no like, they're like, oh, I wonder, you know, yeah. or like, and, and, and maybe even talk about like, oh, I found somebody, you know, Pull some Nathan for you and start like photoshopping like a sh- 
shoulder or an arm in your Instagram photo, in your Instagram Dude, stories. I fucking love Nathan for yeah, you. Yeah, hey, hold hands with Wu-Tang right now and then just put it. My put hands it. aren't feminine enough. Oh, damn. My, my hands with Vic. Vic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, a, a, a bad girl with hand tattoos. <laughs> no, no, but it would be hilarious because yeah, yeah. it it's very... <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's like, damn, no. <laughs> The Wait, the reason why we're cut laughing. That name, cut that name. The Tristan, reason why Trist, Tristan's nails are painted. Yeah. He's also got like hairy arms. Yeah, no, but Tristan's hands are extremely manly, though. He's yeah. a big, burly man. I mean, I guess I'll lend you my hands if Jeremy's okay with it. <laughs> to help you out, sure. <laughs> No, we gotta get her back. He's using he's using yeah. Esther's arm and shoulder in every picture. Okay, yeah. sh- my you have to use Vit's shoulder, not mine. My shoulders are pretty. No, broad. Vit's too easily. It'd be funny he got caught using Vit's hand because she matches <laughs> she matches the tattoos to his picture. I'm just imagining he's doing all these setup IG stories, and she's like, "Damn, he's he's with a lot of questionable women. <laughs> One with a hairy arm. One like no, she tattoos. Sees her, I didn't know Vit was gay." <laughs> <laughs> What a surprise. Hey, but but are you kind of like, damn, I still want to try? Or you're like, I'm going to move on? I mean, I think I all, I, well, I, I've already yeah. expressed feelings and, and like it's not shared. But this is just kind of like, maybe it's still there. No, 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 no. Squash <laughs> that. Hey, get, get, get back I'm in trying. the Wu-Tang boot camp. Hey, every time. 10 push-ups right now. Every time that this Ooh. tells me something. He said to a woman, I want to just grab him by his throat and pick him up in the air like, never again. Yeah. Hey, why don't you ask him him for a little bit of support? Watch, this is what happens. He'll tell me. He's like, hey, so I said this to like this girl one time. What do you think? And then I'll be like, that was a terrible. And then he'll be like, but it's like W. Riz, right? It's like, and I'm like, Ian, I'm going to beat the f- out of you if you ever say that again. Why, why don't you just ask him before you say something? He doesn't. And that's why I'm like, he's trying to help why you, would you out. T- why would you tell me that retroactively? Yeah. And then sometimes I'll give him things to say and then he'll just say something dumb, not like... You do not trust the process. You don't. You don't trust me, Ian. I just also want to keep being myself. I'm not no, telling you, you not to be no, yourself. You take the I'm going to bring out the version of yourself that you should be displaying. Yes. Not literally like the you that you're gonna be with your childhood friends from six years old. He will not message make, one. Yeah, That's what yeah. he's like. He's making like twelve year old boy jokes. Message one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he will not make you. He, does that. he will not. <laughs> Put your no, nipple no, no. in your mouth is not a. He does not want that. that that's woman. ten level play. That's you the dark. Him. That's the that dark guy. arts. That's the dark arts. You're not ready for the dark arts. You don't want that shit. That is Slytherin right there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to teach you at your pace. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, well, that's that story though. But. Hey, we should we should try just for you know maybe a, a a segment on the podcast. Try one where you let him coach you through it a little bit. Do not send a response, and you can. Hey, you're not allowed to just. You you don't have to just take his response and send it. You can workshop yeah. it with him. You gotta say it in your own words. Yeah, you if, can workshop if, if it I with him. I tell you to, to say something, and you're like, that doesn't sound like me. That's when we workshop. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, but how you would don't you say, say that. Hey, and then you you can also A B test and just keep doing your normal thing, and then try one where you get a workshop responses, <laughs> and let's come back a week from now and let's see how it's going. <laughs> let's see if, there, if there's any difference, and you can say how you feel. You know. Wu-Tang yeah. just has him sending ads for Super Bonds. <laughs> <laughs> like, but Wu-Tang? Have you heard of DHM? <laughs> Wu-Tang's like, trust me, this side's going to kill it. Eight natural ingredients. <laughs> and it's a two-for-one deal right now. <laughs> Tell her about the Valentine's Day special. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, hey, that, hey, try some versions with him, workshopping, and then try some versions with yourself and come back a week from now and see how you feel. The, the cool thing about learning how to get women is is the more women reject you or the more you get your taken from you it's like it just only leads to better to bettering yourself yeah happiness is on the other side imagine one text away imagine 100 dms later you'll find hey hey imagine imagine that girl you like but better Way that's better. That's, you know, there's that's always a dark hole to fall down. Don't don't think of. There's always better. It's just that you need to at least like up your game so that when you do run into the woman that you truly want, you will have the tools to actually apply rather than just appearing foolish. And you don't want to wait till you find that woman to be like, I should have learned already. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Right, well, get out. And of you're here. and you're young, man. Anyways, I brought you guys something. Oh, yippee, yeah. yippee, yay. Since you guys live in the same household, you can just decide who gets what. Oh. One one was definitely more expensive than the other, but... We, lo- we love these. As- I think, oh, I think what are these? Oh, I think this one's more expensive. What about you? Oh, yeah, guess. 
I mean, the packaging looks nicer, but oh, this no, looks actually, like this holds more cookie. I'll take this one. Wait, but yeah, this one I'm actually gonna... doesn't hold that much cookies. Home. That one's way more. That was twice as expensive as that, and that one definitely holds more cookies. It's crazy. Mm. Mm. Thank but you. Would shall we share with with everybody? No, no eating on the podcast, guys. But what about them? They can have some. Yeah, Here. don't eat into the mic. If Wait, you're gonna have can some. we can we try these snacks? Right now, oh, snack. The the second night. So the when I went home with the second girl on the second night. Bro, I was so drunk that I was literally, when we got back to Jordan's hotel, I was just, I would literally be like, uh, I want to take a nap right here. And I just laid on the floor. <laughs> and then they're like, nah, Vid, we got to go. I forced myself back up, got into the room. I took a nap. And then eventually I got to a point where I could like wake up and stay awake. So then we went back to her crib. And I was just like, I'm so drunk. I got unbelievably drunk. But because of Super Bonsai, I felt fine the next day. Ooh. Nice. And funny story, actually, uh, I was I was rooming with Ed. That was his first time taking that shit. And he woke up, he looked at me, he was like, this just changed my life. I'm, like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm laughing, I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, bro, I drank so much, I barely remember last night, and I literally don't have a headache, like, I'm not tired. Like, mm-hmm. all I, could, I, was, I was just like, bro, I had the same, like, thoughts when the first time I took that shit. It's literally like a, like a magic switch. Yeah. I remember Jordan texting me at the, after the Super Bonza party, and we use this in advertising because it was so real. And it's just, the text just goes, what the f***? The bonsai actually works. Yeah. And then the my text has just told you, MF. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that just clip we use as an ad. Yeah. But yes, that shit works. You can have these magical feelings too. Try out Super Recovery. It's right here. You can get it on TikTok shop right now. Fast shipping. Eight natural ingredients. Prevents your hangover before it even starts. So it's much better than a solution like Gatorade or any of these things that you drink after the fact and it's filled with sugar filled with unnatural things filled with artificial dyes this is three pills filled with plants and herbs wait has Gatorade ever worked because every single time I do drink Gatorade after or like you know those electrolytes the baby electrolytes that people oh, make it, yeah like it doesn't work. No, not really. So like, why, why do people tackling, say it works? It's tackling one part. So like part of why you're hungover is dehydration, but it's mm. like you're already hungover. So like mm. you're replenishing the dehydratedness, but like you're still in pain but, and it's just so going away. So you have to do a protection natural. before it happens. Exactly. Okay. And that's why liquid IV like can work a little bit better than those because it does have like B vitamins in, in it mm. in some of them. So that's what's supposed to stop your headache. But again, that's like ignoring the full, the real root cause, which is the liver poisoning mm. from acetaldehyde. But also... I remember I used to like try to remember to drink Gatorade and I'd buy a PD light of Gatorade mm. and I'd have to drink so much liquid. But when you're that drunk and you get home, either you forget yep. or you, when you drink that much liquid, you have to go pee constantly. Yep. I like the yeast that it's three before mm-hmm. and then I And you should still you should still hydrate. It doesn't replace water, right? Of course, so it's like of you should still be hydrating. Electrolytes are not a bad thing to be drinking while you're drinking. It's just not good enough of a solution. So mm-hmm. like that's why this is game changing because you can do all those things. You can stack them on top of each other, but none of them tackle the root cause of the issue. And DHM does that. That's why it's so much better. Where can they get it? Uh, TikTok shop link if you're watching this in a clip or just link in description down below. Superbonsai.com. Also, Amazon. If you want fast shipping, Amazon has got it. So nice. Yep. And, and the Prime. ratings are there too. Yeah, and the ratings. There's hella reviews everywhere. So you can Super read convenient up on it. that it's on Amazon. Yes. Sometimes but, but to be Amazon honest, Amazon robs me blind. So buy somewhere else if you like me. Wait, really? I was I was just about to be like, sometimes I order it on Amazon because I know you need I need it ASAP. Yeah, it's but I'm great. too lazy to get it. You never have enough here. Yeah, I always run and through. And you always nowadays I do because I don't drink at all actually. Okay, can I get a bottle? Before I'll just I send leave? it to your place. What you mean? I'll ship it to your place. Amazon gonna beat you. Oh, I have I have some over there. Take oh, it. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, wait, what? What? I was like, Amazon. Oh, we're faster here. Than you. Give it to me now. Yeah. No, 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 you can have some now, but I'll send you guys bottles because I only have like the single serve packets right oh. now. Oh yeah, give me some and then yeah, the send the single later. serve. I keep it in my wallet and uh-huh. I get when I go out, I it's give like it to a people. Card, yeah, 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 no. When I see them about to drink, I'm like, try this. Literally, that was us in Hawaii. I was just like. Yeah, handing it out like business cards. Nice. But Hawaii is very on top of Super Bonsai low key. Like Hawaii loves us. Like that's that place. Like I get rec- we get recognized so often, and then like specifically, a lot of people have also tried or continuously use Super Bonsai. You sent a bottle to that one guy that owns Hangry Mamas in Oahu. I should check in with him because he okay, was like, yeah. I want to stock it at my bar. We'll tell him we're actually looking into the paperwork for wholesaling right now. So yeah, nice. <laughs> By now, you've seen us drink this beautiful drink, and this is Nectar Hard Seltzer, the first Asian-inspired hard seltzer featuring delicious flavors like Asian pear, lychee, mandarin, and yuzu. Now, unlike all those big brands out there that have that disgusting aftertaste, we got rid of it. 
There is no weird aftertaste in this. We actually started Nectar two years ago out of my garage, and because of a viral TikTok, we took off. And because of supporters like you, we've now expanded Nectar into five states, California, Hawaii, Washington, New York, and New Jersey. If you'd like to get a box of Nectar, here are four easy options to choose from. Go to our website, NectarHardSeltzer.com, click on the store locator, and the store closest to you will pop right up. If we're not in any stores near you, next time you're in your favorite store, ask the manager to stock us. You'll be genuinely surprised how well that works works. And if we're not in any stores near you yet, or we're not in your city, you can order us online. We ship to 45 states. And if we can't ship to you, send us a text that tells us where we need to go next. Drink Nectar Hard Seltzer, unique Asian flavors, and no weird aftertaste. Now back to whatever the hell they're talking about. So this is one of our biggest years of business, and we've just been digging at the same hole over and over for Nectar. And basically, how you expand or grow your business, it's like college applications in every single state, and then different colleges accept you, which are stores. And this time around, in the next month, we've literally got accepted into hundreds of stores in every single state. But in doing so, you have to go and basically like sell, and you got to prove to them that you belong in that school for the entire six months or whatever it is. If you don't perform, they kick you out of school. Maybe you use store instead of school. I feel like it's... Oh, I'm getting uh, yeah, confused. Confused? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Well... <laughs> I was just using that analogy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, yeah, we've just got into a bunch of stores this coming um, spring, summer reset. So this is basically, we have to prove ourselves through the summer months. So we're going to be going first, we, the UTI crew will be going to the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. and you guys don't know this yet, but we're also going to go to Washington. Ooh, oh, oh. you love Washington. I don't. Love You've never it. been to Washington, I've never man. Been. Yeah, you should be grateful. Seattle's beautiful. I bet you'll go to Seattle. Everybody who's from Seattle, clown this man. Delicious food, food beautiful, <laughs> beautiful scenery. All right. Hey, if I go to Seattle and I change my mind, I am down to do that. Yeah, like, I've and never then been. Uh, um, um, we're planning another trip to Hawaii because we're launching a brand new innovation. What day? That's go that's gonna happen probably in May or June. So it's gonna go Bay Area in in March, then probably Seattle sometime in March or April, then Hawaii, then we take a little break, then it's, um, I forgot already. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. What? what? I, haven't, I haven't written down, no. New York? Oh, uh, no. Texas? New, it's going to go Hawaii, then Texas, Hawaii, New York, and then Texas. Uh. And this is so month after happen, month? Or? Yeah, that'll happen. We'll start in, in, in March and go all the way until Ooh. June. It's a wow. lot of traveling. Yeah. I love but it's like it. one a month or something like that. Yeah, one a month isn't bad. And yeah, you need us for everyone. Yeah, we're just gonna be launching all these all these drinks. And if you guys want to come hang out, see what we're up to, text the number on the screen. Pop it. We're coming to your city soon. Oh shit! Crazy pill time. <laughs> so get ready, everybody. Nectar's coming to your city. Try the new flavors. Come hang out with us. See I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of sad that we're only going to be in San Jose for like a day or so, a night. Yeah, this one had to happen last minute because of the store, yeah. and they had they they like had a particular date that they absolutely want us to do it. But all the other ones we're starting to plan now, and we're figuring out like uh, what we're going to do hey, in every single city. Since all your flavors are fruits and shit, and you've had to taste a lot of like fruit flavors and whatnot in R and Ding, do you have like fruits you hate? Ooh. I mean, it's a little bit different in... Because they're artificial. They're like not like yeah, the true fruit. It's not the true fruit all the time, and it's in alcohol, but I do have some of my least favorite fruit. All right, name your top three worst fruits. Uh, I'm going to start with raspberries. Why? <laughs> raspberries Agreed. are super inconsistent, and uh -huh. the seeds are the most annoying. I hate the seeds really? with the pack. Really? Always get stuck on my teeth. Okay. Blackberries are the worst. I think blackberries are worse than raspberries. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. It's February. Let's, let's calm down. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I have a fruit that I think Just is kidding. overrated. No, no. Is it the top three worst, though? Yeah. Just overrated? Overrated. Like, I, I, I don't really care for it. What but, like, it? I like the artificial version, but not the actual fruit. It would be strawberries. What? I know, I know. I think strawberries are overrated. I'm sorry. Uh, what? Well, you know what? I'm going to stand with Esther on this. Oh. Nowadays, yes, because... I mean, it's not in season, first yeah, of all. Yeah, no, even when it's in season, well, I don't know what it is about the soil quality or whatever, but Sour I have not had tart. a good strawberry in like probably five years. 
I've been swayed because I recently pulled over for one Switch of those. So easily, man. <laughs> every every debate is the easiest one. If you need someone on your side in a debate, by the way, go for Jeremy. Sorry for having your back. You know, once the truth comes out, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad thing in my noted, opinion. Noted. I think that when you're presented, he's open minded. Yeah, when you're presented with new information, to be like, you know what, maybe I don't know. I'll everything. do anal. <laughs> Anyways, so am I, I learning up- something about y'all right now? <laughs> So I pulled over for one of those carts thinking that, you know, that's a farmer right there. You know, those fruit carts. I'm like one of those fruit stands. I'm like, okay, this is a farmer or whatever. And I got the strawberries and they were, they just tasted like water. They just taste like shit. Yeah, I was really upset. I remember strawberries back in the day used to have tons of flavor. Juicy, super sweet. But I haven't had a super good strawberry in a very, very long time. So long. True. So we hate. The berry, the berry family. The berries are lacking, but I don't yeah. agree with raspberries. I think raspberries are easy to eat. They don't deserve hate. Blackberries nah, nah, deserve nah, nah, hate. Nah, 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 nah. Blackberries can be more plump and juicy. Where no, raspberries, a lot of times they're soggy. The worst, a lot of times raspberries are soggy. That's okay. Just fall apart in my mouth. Ugh, it's, okay. it's just like I've, eating like I've mush. Been swayed. <laughs> I don't like raspberries. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. Okay, but seriously, like, what is your worst? Okay, for me, top three r- dragon worst. fruit. Get that. <laughs> Out of here. Hell no. Agreed, agreed. Bum agreed. ass dragon yeah. ass fruit. Fake Asian, fake Asian. Bum ass misleading you're ass. The, you're you, the dragon? You know what dragon fruit is? Dragon fruit is the Instagram with hella filters, face tune, everything. Mm. And then you actually link with her and you're like, what is that? Who are you? Whoa, you lied to me. Oh, that's so true. That's dragon fruit. Wait, yeah. okay, but as an Asian, right? I don't give a f- I'm not okay. letting race determine yeah. the quality. No, 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 no. Because, because Asian people love dragon fruit. They're lying to okay. you. Okay, the, the one with the white inside sucks balls. I mean, I'll still eat they it. They both I'll, suck balls. But, but there's one that's like, I think it's golden. That one tastes pretty good. I is haven't it had ye- that is one. Is it yellow? Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? Do Until you know, I try it. There's, there's different types dragon. of... There's yeah, different, yeah. Like, no, no. Hold on, but there's yellow Colors. outside, but have you looked at the inside? It's the same inside. No. I've seen yellow dragon Different fruit. Colors. That's the same white inside. This Different is colors. Racism well, inside there's there's yellow. <laughs> yes, yes. And then there's pink inside too well, and I've white. I've seen pink and white inside, but yeah. I've seen yellow. I've cut open a yellow dragon fruit well, that was white inside. Cares, no, it was yellow inside. No, it's not. He just said he cut I open cu- I've cut them open. You've clearly never had one. No, no, no. no. I'm, saying, I'm saying maybe you, maybe, maybe I know a different dragon fruit. Yeah, so okay, look it up. Hey, but I, don't I don't know why you argue arguing because I thought you hate dragon fruit. I didn't say I hate it. I didn't say oh, I hate it. I said I, the thing oh. about dragon I said, fruit? I said, I said, I said, I agree because to be honest, like I'll still eat it, but it has no flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will eat it if I must, if I'm dying on an island and that's all I got. I'm over bananas. No, them shits bananas, be going bad too bananas fast. Bananas are loyal and resilient. Nah, nah, nah. Bananas are I'm valuable. Gonna, I ain't never putting anything in my in my mouth that's shaped like a man's song, Okay. I'm gonna try to talk. You did. What's that? <laughs> what? He said he's telling jokes to himself. <laughs> he's losing it. <laughs> I got interrupted so the past minute. I've just been like, I, I can never talk. On this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! It's like underlying all the listeners are like, what's going on? I feel bad for Vit. They don't know why though. <laughs> He's incepting. Wait, wait. <laughs> Vin, what, what, what fruit pro were you going to say? Now you're tripping. Banana is valuable. Oh, I'm pro dragon fruit. Okay. Uh, bananas can never go wrong. Good for cramps. Good for cramps. <laughs> I'm secure with my. <laughs> I don't care about yeah, yeah, slipping yeah. that shit. Okay, then what I'm not is. a homophobe like you. Yeah. Then you you never said your least favorite fruit. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I know enough fruits. To <laughs> <laughs> this. Okay, oh, kiwi. Watch this. No, I love kiwi. Okay, Kiwis are I. Good. I, I Kiwis are also a super The golden food. kiwi is really good. The green like kiwi, fruits. I was allergic to green kiwi, but not anymore. Motherfucker eating all the rare fruits. She's like the yellow dragon <laughs> the fruit, the ones. golden kiwi. I'm like, I've never heard of a golden kiwi. Wait, there's a golden kiwi. You know the yellow kiwi. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I know it, the it's kiwi. way sweeter and more delicious. I'm trying to think kiwis of what else Kiwis though, is durians? If they're good. I like durian. Oh. I like durian. What is a durian? Oh, I've never had a real durian though. I've only had a durian smoothie and it was delicious. The, the stank stank one. It's a smelly ass one. It's the real fruit is good. It just smells really bad. It's, there's a there's it's a, like a Vietnamese fruit, fruit that I used to eat when I was a kid, but I can't remember what it is. But it's like yellow and it's is it a jackfruit? Jackfruit. Is it? Jackfruit kind of tastes it? like uh like it's such a weird texture that they make jackfruit into. And you like kind of peel meat. it, right? Yeah. Okay. I I they hate most pork. apples. 
Most apples? Oh, most apples. That's crazy. You, you know, like no, no, that apple we brought most, last time? No, no, I like good apples. Okay. Like I like Honeycrisp. By oh. the way, we looked up that apple. It's Honeycrisp. It's just a brand of Honeycrisp. Oh. It's the specific company oh. that makes. Why don't we just Google it? Yeah. <laughs> We're sitting there like, oh, what's a G Wiz apple? <laughs> <laughs> like we don't have <laughs> Chat like GPT. Like honey, honey <laughs> when two cavemen <laughs> live together, dum dum. They're, like, they're just dung. guessing everything. <laughs> and I've been putting hella people onto this apple. I'm like, it's this rare apple called the G Wiz. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like honey crisp. The worst apples are the one that they give you at school. The yeah, bright, yeah, yeah. the, the red, 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 red delicious. Ones. But that's ass. it. Yeah. But that's it. There's other every, nah. every other apple's good. No, nah, I don't Fuji. like the gala. I, I don't <laughs> like. You don't what? like Fuji? So, no, nah, there's. I like only like the creme de la creme apples. Also, what's mid is pears. Yeah, mm. pears, shitty yeah. pears. I don't like. Shitty. I don't eat apples or pears if they're soggy or if they have a brown spot. Oh, yeah, that's just a shitty hot fruit. take. But that's why I don't like banana either because it Tomato. goes bad so quickly. That's a fruit. That fruit, you're barely even oh, a fruit. Damn. No, I you're thought right. I thought it has seeds. Oh, seeds is a fruit. It's a fruit. Yeah. Nope. Tomato is number one. Then does that mean them. avocado is a fruit? Avocado is a fruit. But no, but, no, but I like tomato. tomato. Huh? I like tomato. I like tomato. I love tomato. But it's not a. I don't like it in the context of I like a fruit. You also have bad taste, so. Nah. F you. I put you on, <laughs> man. Put me on to what? A lot of foods. You loved Bavel when I took you there that oh, yeah, one time. You're right. Actually, you do have good taste. I don't yeah. know why I said that. I take that back. Yeah, I've been you. swayed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Swaying people left and right. So, okay. So then we're saying, uh, I'm saying dragon fruit. I'm saying fruit, blackberry. Blackberry. Raspberry. I'm going to say blackberry number one. Dragon fruit number two. But why don't you like a blackberry, though? Bro, blackberry. That shit's ass. Blackberry is never that it's good. It's a shitty experience in my teeth. So, but do you like raspberries? It's the yeah, same I, experience. I like no, it's way less seed. And I love blueberries. What's a good blue? I love oh, blueberries. I love blueberries. Yeah. I love wait, saying wait, blueberries. So we hate, we hate dragon fruit. Okay, you know what? I'm putting strawberry in the <sighs> strawberry. I agree. Man, I agree disagree. with your list. Yep, disagree yeah. with this list. Dragon fruit, blackberry, strawberry. Out of here. What's an underrated fruit? Coconut. Mango. Okay. Vit. Uh, I guess mango is pro properly rated. Yeah, that shit is Everybody highly loves rated. Mango. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I would say persimmons. I oh. love, I love, okay, I love the mushy. Have you ever had the mushy the persimmons? The frozen one? Or, or? No, 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 no. So there's one that's shaped like a pumpkin, like a little yeah. pumpkin, and there's one that's shaped like, like an peach. acorn. Yeah. Like a giant acorn. And when that one gets soggy inside. That's you, when you're, you, it's, it's ready like, to eat. It's like you, eating you like brains. Probably have. I've had multiple types of persimmon, but that's I can't a, remember it being soggy. Uh, what's a persimmon? Oh wow! It's it's described as a cinnamon apple. Yeah, I don't even know how to describe it to you. It's it's so delicious though, and it's very unique. Uh, good one. But you know why coconuts over underrated? Because mm. people don't know it's fruit. I didn't know it was a. Wait, did I know? I that? mean, I guess it's a nut. Is it? I don't know what it is. It's a nut. But we're gonna call it a fruit because it's in the fruit category of flavors and things. Rolls off a tree. But the thing is, a coconut oh, provides this. you with so much value. Ooh. Legit, think of everything you get out of one coconut. You can get coconut flour, you can get coconut sugar, you can get coconut water, you can get coconut coconut milk, you can get coconut fruit meat. True. You it's a can, weapon. It's a literally, right? It's a it's, it's a, a ball. It's a bra. It's a bra. It's literally so many things. You can make fiber out of the husk. Like, it's an instrument. Yeah, like it literally, like if you are stranded on an island and you find a coconut tree, you're chilling. It's like, a cup. It's exactly. Damn. It's a vessel could carry waters. Have you guys seen somebody climbing up a tree with the like the coconut when it's still in the green husk? Like if you got stranded on an island, you're not breaking that thing open. It's yeah, so mean, difficult. You could, if you could find like the sharp rock. Wait a second. No, there's the no way to coconut cut it. part is the seed of the fruit. Yeah. The uh, water inside, because you peel it off, and that's the yeah, seed yeah, inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> that's why. It's no a fruit. way. Yeah, you're eating the seed juice. Okay, so if I, I think some people don't know that a coconut is usually like green right yeah, yeah. yeah with that and then and then when you buy it at the store it's usually it's, it's, already, the hard work. it's yeah, already the seed the yeah. hard work is done you're right yeah, have you seen motherfuckers like the islanders like ripping them apart with their teeth yeah that shit crazy yeah. oh never seen that you know what else is underrated i love pomegranate oh pomegranate. I but i don't shit. like you know what i get annoyed how seedy it is i just buy the one that's already it. like peeled and i just eat it with a spoon like yeah, yeah but no, no, there's still, like still tiny the seeds oh, no, i'm okay with those seeds it tastes grainy one fruit that is underrated that I like is their kumquats. I love kumquats. I no, haven't really had many kumquats. We got we a tree. I'll bring tree. a bunch nice. next time. Actually, when we move to the studio, you can have them. Nice. Oh, well, now that we're on this like rating topic. Wait, I've any more underrated fruits? I'm like hype thinking, trying to imagine the fruits. <laughs> I'm like getting confused by all the fruits that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to hear wrap my head yeah, around yeah, yeah. this. So, so, so what, is a, what is a kumquat? What do you, what do you uh, describe it to me? 
What do you think it looks like? What do you think it tastes like? Kumquat is <laughs> white. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. Got that one. And a fruit. What do you think it tastes Ooh. like? Sweet. Okay. Think like a white. Tastes like cum. Ki- <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called like a, a white lot. cucumber. No kiwi. White kiwi. Spot on. How do you how do you prepare it? How big do they get? Hold it up with your hands. How big do they get? Like kiwi size. Yes, around kiwi size. Okay, Wait, a little bigger. like a baseball. I think I've had one in my life. I just oh, can't nice. remember. Really? Okay, spot on. Okay, what do you think? Uh, what do you think a pomegranate is? I do. I know what a pomegranate is. Oh, okay, it's red with the little seeds inside. Okay. Mm. What other fruit did you get confused by? What about a guava? What does a guava look like? Ooh, guava. I love guava too. Like a mango. Mm, what color? Kind of greenish orange, orangeish, depending okay. on how ripe it is. And Ooh. then how do you how do you eat? Is it is the inside like what's the texture like inside? Yeah. Is it like an apple? What the fuck is a guava? Is it almost like a gourd, isn't it? Yeah, like a kind of pumpkin-y. I, I feel like you're lying to me. You keep saying yeah too much. <laughs> yeah, he's lying. No, I'm saying you're spot. Guava, guava you got pretty close though. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. The color, the color Kumquat, was on point. Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> oh. looks like a mini orange, yeah. and but you eat the whole thing, like the peel and the oh, inside, yeah. and so the inside is very, very sour, and then the outside is kind of like tart and like slightly sweet. Yeah. And you just, High of vitamin good. C. I made Jackie eat the whole thing when she came to my house, and oh. she liked it. Jackie, Jackie's very, very picky. Yeah, Jackie does not eat shit. Yeah, but she says she, she liked it, so. Nice. What other fruits do you not know? This kind of Do you know mangosteen? Huh? Mangosteen? Mangoes? Mangosteen? <laughs> no. What? Uh, mangosteen. He thinks I'm making up something. Yeah, you're <laughs> making it up. Damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, mangosteen is a rare one, let's be honest, though. That shit is random. Audience, do you are you following? I'm not following. Hey, do you know, <laughs> hey, do you know what? Hey, speaking of following, are you following us? <laughs> If you're not, hit that follow button. <laughs> they, there's this no way smooth. that they watch Turn this. Turn the notification far bell and- on. <laughs> hey, do you know what a cantaloupe is? Yeah. Ah, f- Describe it. Is cantaloupe one of those those Asian fruits that we normally eat? It's honeydew and yeah. cantaloupe, right? Yeah, is yeah, that yeah. Asian, though? Is cantaloupe Asian? Cantaloupe is pretty Asian. Uh, yeah. I love cantaloupe. Honeydew. No, one of them is a melon that I'm thinking about. <laughs> they're, they're both There's melon. watermelon, oh. cantaloupe, and... <laughs> cantaloupe is the and orange honey, melon. And honeydew. Oh, honeydew is the green one. On. I just this laughed at my like, back. Well, he <laughs> actually doesn't know much about fruits. Damn. Interesting. Do you... Hey, how often do you go to the store? Nah, you don't go to the store. Never I mind. was going to yeah, say no. a fruit that I'm like, I would I would eat, but I don't really like too much is grapefruit. I think that's also like a fruit that I'm... Uh, true. You ever seen that video about grapefruits? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have showed her. Wait, is it the I Tiffany, like, Tiffany Whoa, Haddish? Oh, look at this crazy viral video. <laughs> Wait, what? What would they... Well, who would ever try that? I'm very familiar with the grapefruits. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, you mean like when they do the pee pee hole? <laughs> grapefruit lady. Have I showed you grapefruit lady? What a what a what a f- video. Yeah, oh, she's man. a legend. <laughs> the video has like eight million views. Who? Grapefruit lady. I don't remember. Could, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Is that, that be- Tiffany Haddish? Is that's it? Not, is that's she- not Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> could you imagine yeah. that was your legacy? <laughs> <laughs> Her and, and then uh, the cucumber man. <laughs> we're dangerously close to being just as bad. Like some of the things we say on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> she be giving that thing like I didn't even know the sound effect like that shit was crazy <laughs> that shit was the, the <laughs> sounded like a car wash yeah like a washing machine like yeah. damn <laughs> it comes out wrinkleless <laughs> I don't know if I like you talking about another woman sucking grapefruit <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a tutorial that's like saying like oh yeah. I don't know if you're liking yeah, if I like you maybe instead of feeling you know competitive shut you should up. learn I'm a thing I'm or sick two of right? this. wait 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 do we want to sh- shout out Mr. Mans yeah do it. okay so Wu Talk put me on these jerkies They're, it's like it's like basically beef crisp not mm-hmm. beef jerkies so it's like crispy right mm-hmm. and so I reached out to him and he sent us a couple he, he sent us multiple, but I ate them. I brought these for you guys. Um, <laughs> there's one mild, and there's one spicy. Pause me the mild one. Have you tried it before, Vit? Try the Let's spicy get his first one. reaction. Can I get the mild? I think you should do the mild. I think everyone should try the mild first, no, and no. then the let spicy. Him, let him just get in there. Yeah, 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 let him get in there. I know. Had the, he's had the mild before, okay. I believe. Like, Vic could handle the spicy, because I know he likes Bro, spicy. when I eat a full thing of the spicy one, that shit hurts my stomach. I, I like, got used to it, it's so... It's genuinely spicy. T- say that into the mic. This I shit did. is spicy. That shit low-key spicy as 
Oh, they ate a huge piece. Okay, so there are pieces that are like like equally sweet, salty, and spicy. Those are the best pieces. Mm-hmm. Not spicy enough. What? No. This is marketed towards white people. You gotta eat more so they No, they're up. actually spicy. It builds up. Yeah. Well, I mean, I see they have no, tight. No, first bite, first bite is not spicy. No, you gotta wait, build wait. it up. Let's get a white man here. They Tristan, have, come here. For, for Tristan, reference. Tristan, come, come here. I do see that they have Thai chilies on them, so that's always nice to see. A break off, Tristan, a piece. Hey, Wutar, why don't you read the back? Oh, fuck. Hey, hey. Then, There's a cute story behind oh, it. Give Tristan yep. a piece and then let him. Uh, so it's called Snack Ye's, and Ye is um, grandma in Cambodian. And so our boy Marlon, wait, who wait, started wait. this company, his gra- this is his grandma's my recipe. Piece. Give him a bigger piece. Yeah, that's not a. Or let him just take a. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a. That's a size. Ian, do you want? Piece. Do you want one? I'll eat both. Wait, wait. wait. Both. Give I'll him the regular one first, so he's like gets to try it. Exactly. Okay, okay. Okay, in a moment of silence for Tristan to try. And just you just give it the honest white man rating. What kind of white person do you think I am? <laughs> just a. W- and then just tell us if it's too spicy for you or not. He's enjoying it. He's mm-hmm. chewing. His his skin complexion has not changed yet. <laughs> he's he's currently still the same. Oh, I see some rosiness in the cheek. I'm cheese. Eastern European, not Floridian. Damn, okay. My skin's not going to turn red. <laughs> oh, really? You don't turn red? No, no. You what's like the, it, uh, Yeah, what's the rating? It's pretty good. I mean, on a white people, uh, a white people spicy scale, I'd put this at like like a 6.5 or so, like just, oh. above, just above like sriracha. Oh, okay. Not that spicy. Sriracha is not spicy. Exactly. Damn, I'm mm-hmm. putting that shit higher than him. I'm putting yeah. that shit at like a 7.5. Yeah, that shit no, was, spi- yeah, it was but, spicier than hot Cheetos. But a white people scale is different. Mm. Sriracha. I've never liked sriracha because it's always like those are fighting words. You heard that? Sour. He just called me. No, basically. No, I, <laughs> I'm <laughs> saying white people are with spice. Wait, but do you like the spicy one or the mild one? If you had to choose, what? Do you like the spicy or I like the, the mild? mild. One better? I like the mild. Probably spicy. Mm. That's hotter than hot Cheetos for it. The- They're way yeah. hotter than hot Cheetos. Yeah. Hot Cheetos are not hot. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, probably. Damn, I miss hot Cheetos. It's good. I'm just saying, I Tristan, wish it was spicier. No, 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 no this is mine. No, no, you can't handle it. Give me. Yo, but for real though, this is way better than a Tristan, lot of the jerky more? out there. I was really impressed. Yeah, give me. <laughs> give me. I want one more piece. It has way more flavor than a lot of jerky does. Way more, I and forgot. I love the crispiness. The crunch is yeah. fucking gas. I forgot who got surprised, but someone we were eating, and someone got surprised by how like spicy I can eat. Mm. Oh, it was you? No. Oh. <laughs> Probably who it was. Hmm. I think it was in Hawaii. Okay. Hey, yeah. uh, shout outs to whoever said you don't watch a podcast for ASMR. I'm sorry, I cried my best, but that, this is it, guys. That one's for you. This is pretty good. Well, thank you. Thank you, Marlon, for sending us those packs to try. And if you would like to send us more mm-hmm. to try, we would happily take them. Mm. Hey. It's, it's really, really good flavor. I love the flavor. I love I, more than anything. I love crispy beef. I realize. Mm. I just like that. It feels healthy when you eat this. Like not like regular beef jerky. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't call it healthy, but you, this isn't healthy. It's all protein. No. Mm-hmm, no, man. Read the. I'm just not gonna say. That. I said it feels healthier than eating beef jerky. What's also, yeah. it's addictive. It's honestly, not. it's pretty. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's pass so me addictive. the spicy ones. All right, everyone, put it down. Swallow and put it down. Okay. We got we to gotta get the show moving. All righty. What's next? <clears throat> okay. All right. So while we're on the topic of ranking things. Yes. Top three Disney movies. Because I've been seeing that story thing going around where you circle them. Mm-hmm. Go. And I will judge you for this very, very hard. I might even walk out if you uh, say the wrong answer. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm not going to. the right l- answer? Yes. Damn. Can I say all. Actually, you're right. Wait. Does it have to be full Disney movies or can it be like Disney and Pixar? Full Disney. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, like, think fully only Disney. Yeah, 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 okay. I mean, I got, I'll go first. Go. Okay. Robin Hood. It's an it's a, it's a, it's a old one, but it's a, a movies. classic. Yeah, movies. Not, not story value, movie. No, no. Robin Hood is the movie with the animals. Remember yeah. the animals? The fox. Of the- all the Disney movies, that's going in your top three. That's easily number one. That shit was so fire. They were bad. The battle easily? scenes were crazy. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Nope, wrong answer. Wrong answer. Number one, Wendy Wu, Chinese warrior. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey he got hey, the worst parents, answer. His parents actually. gave him the bootleg Disney. Who yeah. the f- 
is that? No, no, like, I know who Wendy is. Wood. That's like teen Disney. It's, it's Brenda's song. That's Disney XD. Yeah, yeah. No, we're not oh, talking about those movies. Oh. Okay, I no, we're not counting one. those. My parents didn't Disney let me have cable TV. Movies. I have one. Tarzan. Let's go. Fire, fire as Let's a soundtrack. Go. Okay. That's top three for sure. And and one of my favorite, another one is uh, Beauty and the Beast. I love Beauty and Wu-Tak the Beast. Wu-Tak okay. really related to Tarzan. He was like, me, Tarzan, same. Someone like me. Uh. <laughs> okay. What about you? Oh, no, Strangers Like Me. Okay, that, what about, what about that you? That song went stupid. Strangers Like Me, how's it go? Stranger, uh, I don't really know how to sing it, but I got to save them my Spotify like songs. It's from Tarzan? Yeah. Oh, I know your favorite, actually. You told me this before. Mulan! Oh, I thought it was I thought it was Little Mermaid. You're, uh, you star in it. What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> he also stars in Mulan. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> get up! Get up! We're f***ing... I'm tired of this! Leave her alone! Leave I'm her tired. alone! The slander! <laughs> Hey, <laughs> um, I'm not even fat. Look, hey, <laughs> hey, argue Mulan because she thinks Mulan sucks. I, I'm what? sorry, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't think Mulan was that good. When's the last time you watched Mulan? Um, I mean, I watched the live, what's called the real people one. Else? That one also was bad. Okay, well, the real people I just, one. I, just I didn't, didn't even really, watch that one. I just didn't really think that the story it never spoke to me. Are you tripping? <laughs> Yeah, no, Female no, empowerment? No. A woman that joins the military okay. in place of the firstborn Dude. son because there's a draft? Because the Huns are invading? I, I wish that we didn't have to go to the military. What the f***? I want to stay home. Yeah, and she did it. She could have stayed home and she went in place of her father who was sick and dying and crippled. And so she took up and pretended to be a man and went. And then somehow the general of the army, even though he thought she was a man, was slowly he falling was in gay. love with her. <laughs> he, was gay. he got upset. And then, Dude, he got and upset. then. Yo, he got upset when when she told him that she was a woman. No, nah, no, nah, he was into both because they like the, my boy was down with the freaky. <laughs> <laughs> but. But, and then she single-handedly defeats the There's a talking dragon. <laughs> what are you talking about? She saved a whole dynasty. She saved the whole country. You wouldn't be here without Mulan. She, she was doing too much. Uh, it, it, no. I'm getting stressed out. I almost popped a blood vessel on my neck. I'm sorry. I'm on your side. I love Mulan. Mulan is goaded. I know a lot of people like- one of like the best songs too. The overrated. Oh, make a man it's, out of you? I think, I think Mulan and Lion King is a little overrated. What? I know. Lion I'm King. sorry. I, I really do think Lion so. Lion King was a banger. Lion King was a banger. Wait, what did you say? Oh, actually, you picked Tarzan. What was the other one? Beauty and the Beast? Bum. Hey, but I no, like I yours. you didn't like Beauty and the Beast. No, I, I said I love Beauty oh, and the Beast. Sleeping Beauty you didn't like. I didn't like Sleeping Beauty. Uh, Sleeping I think Beauty Sleeping Beauty was the, Sleeping Like, why is, is she even that popular? Like, all she does is sleep in the movie. I, that's what I do. No, Sleeping Beauty, Beauty was mid. Wait, 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 wait. He hasn't said his number one favorite. Number one would probably be... He said Wendy Wu. <laughs> <laughs> also, none of us completed the three. We just said two. Pocahontas, maybe. No, maybe we make a group top three. Okay, Pocahontas. I like Pocahontas. Colors of the Wind was Only such of that a good song. song. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't. I wouldn't put Pocahontas in the but top. Yeah, oh, name some top. Disney movies out for me. <laughs> Little Mermaid. Big Hero uh, Six. The Matrix. Oh, uh, Tangled. Tangled. Nah, trash. Frozen. Oh, Frozen. I haven't seen I, any of the new Disney Frozen. ones. Was, Big Hero Six is my number three. Really? Yeah, I watched it. I've never seen that. Yeah, I, I like talking about like childhood Disney movies. No, any animated Disney movie. I like the. I like Peter Pan. No Disney. We're talking specifically Disney, right? Animated Disney movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say uh, Peter Pan. The Lost Boys were my favorite. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. I forget that you from like a whole nother era. <laughs> you from back in the day. What you mean? Lion King came out before that one. What do you think? What do you think would be um, like your your generation's Disney movie that? Like, is it like Toy Story? Like, what is the Toy childhood movies that are, yeah, it's I don't know. It's Disney and Pixar. What are the yeah. Disney movies that you guys, like, grow up on? I'm trying and... to remember. There was, like, a Over the Hedge, I think, was one. Oh. What the f- is that? I remember. Uh, With the animals, right? Yeah. Open Season. <gasps> Open Season was gas. You guys, the Emperor's was that Disney, New Groove though? was good. I think, no, I think that was Cartoon Network. Emperor's right? New, New Groove, Groove. That one was oh, good. Yeah. Fire. That one was fire. That low key might take it over Big Hero Six. What about Hercules? Hercules is also Hercules gas. Was fire. Yeah. Also super. You know gas. what? Yeah, number one Hercules. Oh, oh I wow. love Her- Hercules. Hercules might be is number, number four for me. When Meg sang, that was my favorite part. Actually, no. I'll put. I'll do. I'll put Hercules top three. So <laughs> I'll Hercules put number one. Tarzan. Meg down. Tarzan, yes. Leave Meg alone. I love Meg. Tarzan. Why am I the only one on topic here? Okay. Sorry, we were talking about Meg. Little Mer- uh, Okay, I'm going to say Beauty and the, the Beast. Stallion. The Little Mermaid Tarzan. 
Okay. I only like Tarzan out of those three. Okay, so. I would say. You have no taste. I would say uh, uh, Robin Hood, Peter Pan, Hercules. All right, we'll take Hercules. I can agree with Hercules. What is yours? Hercules. I want to. I want to take back. Uh, you said Mulan. Oh, okay. Mulan was pretty fire. Mulan is top three for me. Mulan want, might be I'll number one. I'll watch it again. I'll give it another chance. Mulan might be number I'm trying one. Trying to think if there's any that like changed my life though. Mulan. Mulan. Yeah, Mulan, Mulan changed my life. Yeah, I watched Bro, that shit 16 I, times in a row. To this day, I listen to the I'll Make a Man Out of You song in the gym, yeah. and that shit goes mm-hmm. crazy. And someone like Strangers Like Me is also in my saved library and from Tarzan. Those two songs speak to me. He went off on those. And, st- and he styles after the bathhouse lady. I'll f- <laughs> Wait, you know what the creepiest Disney movie is? Oh, dude, the kid is the kid has got away and they got him again. <laughs> Wait, no, that's oh, not how it works. It's the same one? It's, just, it's probably it's like the same one. Ambulers are going crazy, Anyways, bro. okay, the creepiest Disney yeah, movie child is Catch. Peter Pan, y'all. P- I'm sorry, not Peter Pan. P- Pinocchio is the creepiest Disney movie ever. <laughs> Jeremy was about to get eaten over like, Peter Pan. No, 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 no. Peter Pan no, no. is like, also kind of creepy. This child abduction this Amber Alert is crazy. It makes me think about yeah, like... How, normally, how, they don't send this many. Yeah, that's two in a row. Guys, it's should weird. we go hit, hit the street right now? I'm just saying it's weird. What is going on? I feel like people, like like you were saying, because of that one movie. The Sound of Freedom? Yeah, yeah. People don't realize that it's actually a very, like, more prevalent, more... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a super common up issue. I used to bike around. Like, my parents would let me bike to school in first grade. Like You lived so in a safe area, though. True. I'm, I'm saying even in that same area, I don't think they would let kids do that nowadays. Yeah. I mean, you should... Uh, yeah, you can't always... You can't, like, control them always, but definitely you should know... How to keep your family safe? Oh no no no! It's it's saying uh, she was found. That was a deactivation. Ah, uh, oh, that thing straight up said a child abducted. Yeah yeah, it's oh, the in? same one. It's been located. Oh nice, thank God. Nice, right, well, well done, law enforcement or whoever found her, or him. It's a guy. All right, well, but back to the important topic of yeah. But she said the creepiest Disney movie is Pinocchio. All right, but we didn't even say it. So I think the top three is I then Tarzan. I, we get it. Move Hercules on. And Mulan. Yeah, that's facts. Boom. <laughs> Where were you when you seen Drake's dick for the first time? Jeremy and I, we were in bed. And what? Why she was emasculating at- me. She was holding it up, being like, why did your shit look like this? No, no, no. Okay, so I think that was the day that I had my Galentine's Day uh, with the girls. And so... My friends like searched up Drake's dick and I was just like, oh, I don't oh, want to see friends. it. Oh, your friends. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to see it. And I didn't see it that day. But I got curious because they were just like, dude, it looks like... They kept trying to force A her. silicone dildo. And I was like... This is why I would never allow my girlfriend to have oh friends. Oh my goodness. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, well, how are you allowing your girl to go on Galentine's dates? This is what happens I at I begged them. her. I said, please don't go. They're going to show you nefarious things. <laughs> They're literally forcing her to look at other... Like I was literally like blocking the door, scream crying, and she grabbed me by That's my such hair an ick, and threw dude. me Don't to the again. flew me to the th- threw me to the floor. I said I'm gonna go look at celebrity cac. <laughs> cac. cac. You're so annoying. Okay, and then and then and then okay, so I didn't see it, and then I went home, and I was like, no time out. What? That was the first time she brought it up. She was like, yeah, I went to Galentine's, and everyone was looking at Drake's dick. I didn't look. But like they were like, oh, you should look. It's so big. Then the second time was with Jessica. <laughs> somebody else, Jessica. It's some, always Jessica. Somebody it else. One Jessica. of your friends. Jessica. Like, oh, I remember, they're like, hey, she was like, have you seen Drake's dick? And you're like, no, I haven't seen it. Oh, it was, like, it was, it was. That was the second time. Yeah, and I was no, okay, like, come on. It was the hottest topic in that moment, and hottest? I haven't seen it. Oh, shut up. It was. <laughs> you guys are talking about it too. Don't act like you did it. All right, but I'm a single man. I can yeah. look at as many. I want. <laughs> oh my god, y'all relax. Anyways, I can have this on my mind all day if I wanted to. <laughs> Matter In of fact, fact, right now I'm thinking about. <laughs> and guess what? I can do that. All right. So so, anyways, oh, she's dude. still. Even Jessica was like, "You need to look at it." And Esther's like, "No, no, no." Were you then, there while Jessica was saying yeah. that? Okay. I was like, "What the oh, fuck?" In front of you? Yeah. You know, your friends are a reflection of you. Yeah. Your friends don't respect Jeremy at all. Not at all. You also know that you're friends with Jeremy, right? And you guys don't set a good example as well. So, <laughs> All right. anyways, so Coy, we're, prove it. So here, so we're laying in, we're laying in bed, and I'm, you know, hey, reading we're also my your Bible friends too. Huh? Yeah, what the fuck? We're also yeah. your friends. Are we not your friends? I don't know. I think I stopped being your friend <laughs> a while ago, actually. What the? <laughs> fuck? 
<laughs> I'm in here for the money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what money? <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna leave right now. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Anyways, we're laying in bed and she brings up the topic again. <laughs> like, oh, you yeah, no, I, no, I asked, yes. no, I asked, I asked him, have you seen it? Because people keep talking about it and then i was like okay can you see because i don't want to see I, I, I hadn't seen it at that point i haven't dude i haven't even seen chris brown's pp haven't like, even I, what no this fuck? was a while this was a long time ago when it, it was leaked and then i also haven't seen tigers like i i, I don't want to see that it's kind of creepy to me when people say it's too big it's honestly kind of <laughs> the big ones if it's no i'm serious <laughs> she's like the big ones are creepy Yours is perfect. No. I'm scared of the big ones. Yeah. No, it's, it, they're saying that it's like this big. That they lied. This not, big is not normal, it's not, y'all. It's, it's not possible. There's not a lot of it's, people it's, with it was pretty dicks fucking this big. big. That's pretty crazy. Pretty big. Like, so, so, anyways, she's so and curious. So I, I, I didn't, I didn't want to see. I was like, it and I was, looks weird. and I was curious too. So I googled it. Yeah, and, and then I saw uh-huh. it. and then he told yeah. me he was the one that said, "No, just look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it." And I said, "Okay." I looked at it. He it's forced big. me. He forced it on me. You know what? I wasn't that impressed, and I'm saying that out of all honesty. Go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck wrong with you? Okay. Is thin, it very thin. Thin. Go yeah. to hell, bro. Yeah. I would say I would say bigger was Chris Brown. Really? I didn't yeah. see Chris Brown. I didn't see Chris Brown. Yeah, 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 I, think, I think. I think. Okay. Chris, Chris hey, you gotta understand, arm. Drake wasn't hard. He didn't. Yeah. Like, Drake he didn't. wasn't even at full potential. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But you know the thing is, Asian <laughs> men. Asian men are gore. Let me see it hard. <laughs> he has a sale, bro. He sways all the time. I never swayed. Hey, bro. You know how floppy that was. You it ain't was never, literally bending hey, over his yeah. head. I only saw the screenshot. I couldn't find the video. Oh, how much? How much bigger does it get if? At that level of chub, I'd say that was like a 70%, 60%, 60 to 70 percent. Yeah, but even okay, but even then, you should see Chris Brown's then. The meat connoisseur. I don't want to Okay, because here, Brown's because hear me out. You know how Asians are growers, not showers, right? With non-Asians. Yeah, I'm neither. Huh? I'm neither. I don't know it's just either, kind of yeah. Okay, well that sucks. But um, <laughs> non-Asians, they're just it's, they're just showers. So like, if it's yeah, hard, how people. big? No, no, how hard? different. No, no, how, 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 how what hard can, does it, bro? They got the coolest like stereotype. Oh, you got a big, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, we like rice. Oh, you're athletic. <laughs> oh, you can jump high. You can dunk a basketball. Anyways, you're good at singing and dancing. Hey, nah, there's definitely bad stereotypes well, obviously, to everything. <laughs> I was just about to say, like, I'm making a joke. Please don't eat me up. No, they have the they have the best. I know, I know. Race relations are at an all time high right now. Yeah. Okay, Every, the reason why I don't like racial tensions. Like hey, if you want, I'll get, I'll allow you one time to call no. me a. You brought no, it up. Talk. What the hell? We're you wrote it on. down. Damn, okay, anyway, so you're really excited about this topic. I know. No, 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 I was gonna say the reason. I've never seen her participate so oh much. Oh my gosh! Shut up. Okay, shut let me, me let me so talk about. <laughs> and all of you guys, shut up! Right. When you're in high school, right? You know how people will be doing that thing where they would text you. They'll be like, "Oh, open this link," and then when you click on it, it's like a guy with a huge. That's when I was like, "That is so creepy." But that's Photoshop. That wasn't real. That's not real. That's no. not real. No, I that's thought that real. guy's meat was for real. No. The guy that's like laying yeah, like yeah, yeah. He, that's He's fake. Yeah. Okay, but I thought that was real, and that's why I was just like, "Oh my god, that's." Do you guys, do you guys remember Meat Spin? The yeah. website. That's my whole, that was my screensaver. Oh, <laughs> I remember I woke up and I was like scrolling through Twitter and I just seen a video of Drake. I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> and then I tried telling my friends, but I don't think anybody understood like the, the gravity of the yeah, situation. Like, like we're living through history right now. <laughs> Nobody understood it. I, th- I, bro, I was talking about Drake for at least two days and like it was you just on my mind for two whole days. But you know what? I feel like I feel like the album's on the way. Got to be. Yeah. Oh, he's if he references his leaked pick in the album, he's goaded. Yeah, I think uh, I think he's the album goated, I think the album Wait, so on the who way. who uploaded it? Well, they, did they, they find? They he like there's we that sh- like yeah. yeah if knows? that was me, I would have uploaded that sh- a long time ago. <laughs> hey, if that was my I would have leaked that. Sh- uh, <laughs> oh, oops. I, a lot of celebrities use it. It's a huge talking point. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a way to get people like uh uh just media eyes off like oh, another topic and obviously yeah. Hey Esther, I'm curious about your your nightmares that you get from the notebook. So someone asked us um, for my YouTube channel, Kanye Wester. Um, 
how would you describe uh, your relationship as a movie? Mm -hmm. And I said, The Notebook. And he hasn't watched The Notebook. You haven't watched The Notebook. Mm -hmm. But I said, yeah, I basically said, (laughs) it's The Notebook. And Jeremy was like, corny, right? And I was like, no, you don't understand. Audience, for those who have watched The Notebook, Jeremy is Rachel McAdams, okay? Wu Talk is Ryan Gosling. (laughs) Aren't we the love interest then? Shut up. I am Rachel McAdams' fiance that she didn't end up marrying because she went on to cheat on. What are you trying to Ryan say about Gosling? my character? You're a. Yeah, I'm, 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 I want Ryan that Gosling. wench. No, I'm, tra- I'm trying. I'm trying to say that this is the reason why our relationship isn't working. Oh, right homewrecker. Oh, yeah. me. She just hey, keeps calling blame, you every night. Don't blame and your inequities on me. I just don't understand. I was here first before you were even a thing. That's how the movie happened too, yeah. Yeah. That's how the that's how the so movie happened. So how about happened. you butt out? How about that? But no, I f- hate the Notebook. You hate it? No, no, no. I I agree with it's you. It's very. It was like growing up. Everybody, every girl was like, "Oh, the Notebook." Yeah, why did they like it? If it's about a girl cheating. Oh, I love it so much. Cause f- what's so funny, woman? Why are you laughing so hard? Cheating? Yeah. Wait, is it really about cheating? No, that is. It's the the plot line is like uh uh Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling. They're they have a very quick, uh, like, fas- passionate uh, relationship, and they fight too much, right? Very, very full of turmoil. He goes off somewhere. She goes off somewhere. She finds a new man. They're they're engaged. They're about to be uh, married. Is the man hot? I don't. I don't remember. Was the a- damn? Even in that movie, he got no shine. Yeah, but the whole movie is a, a, is about how like. Like the uh, the parents Ryan didn't want them to be together because the guy Ryan Gosling's character is poor. Oh yeah, old money type. Oh, girl, I, I'm broke. <laughs> the, yeah, and the girl's from old money. Mm. So uh, mm. so it's that whole f- big deal ordeal. But she didn't and like then, him anyways though because no, they fought she, too much. They loved each other. Yeah. Oh. But then she she went either she went away or he went away for a summer he, or something. No, no, she went away and then he, every day he wrote her a letter. But the parents I think yes. hid it from her. Yes. her so that she doesn't like hit him up, you know what I mean? And then they find each other again, and the, this girl with the, about to be married to this other man, she's like, "Oh, I can't go through with this. I'm in love with him." So they end up back together, and I'm just watching this whole shit, just like the cheated, bro. Yeah, no. Wow. When I was younger, I was like, "Oh, this is so romantic." But growing up, I rewatch it, and I'm just like, "Holy shit!" Yep. This was. A f- Hey, it's a psyop. I, I literally, so I had this crazy thought the other day that applies to this too, that I was having it in conversation with Eddie. So Eddie was watching like those like corn, you know, those like t- corny teen movies that happened in like growing up if in the early 2000s, like, all, like think like Disney XD and like that would air there. Right. And like those like snowboarding movies and like teenage angst movies. Right. Watching it back. They all had the same exact tropes in it and what it kind of felt like was like whoa i learned like this is how i should be if i want to be like that from watching movies like this so i would watch media example movie about growing up as a teenager right what is always tr- every time you watch one of those movies the cool guy the guy that you want to be like that gets the girls and blah 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 cuts does not listen to his parents skips out of school like like hates his parents almost like you know what i mean like they created this like thing where Archetype. it was like to be to go th- to be a teenager to be a cool teenager is to be misunderstood by your parents so then i'm like you know what i mean because i think about all the time i'm like what is it that led me to be such a crazy troublemaker like where did those thoughts where were the where were, where was it incepted from i can't really think exactly like there's a lot of factors at play i'm not saying it's the only one but it literally felt like whoa like they decided for a whole generation here's how you should behave if you are xyz right and then when i hear of the notebook i think of like the generation of girls that grew up on the notebook literally think like that in relationships like fast passionate fight all the time that means we care about each other more and it's like when you think about a relationship a generation defining romance it's like the notebook right like every girl has watched it and every girl i know from the generation that grew up with the notebook literally thinks idealizes relationships like that where you're falling super heavy hard and it's you're fighting all the time but it's because you care oh my parents don't approve but i'm gonna go against everything they said to to be with you Mm. and it's like the movie positions it in a way that it almost like vilifies parents when in, re- in reality in the most regular scenario your parents are looking out for your best interest if they don't f- with your choice and partner it's because they see things you don't it's like most parents are not just trying to scum you over because they're f- you know well in this case 
in he this, was poor. But exactly in this case, well, also the parents were right to not want her to date him. No, I mean, I mean, I don't think they were looking out for her best. In, I mean, they were, but uh -huh. in a way where it's just like. Uh, but exactly, so like the movies position it, and like it almost like convinces people that really idealize, like love these movies. Like this is how things, because it's like I was thinking, like who decided how things are. Like, it's like, who decided that if you're a cool kid, you need to be angsty and, like, not listen to your parents? Yeah, like, when that's did that start? But, no, no, but I think ultimately, like, the world or media, they just know that drama and hate or that kind of, like, mood gets way more views or gets people more riled up and, what like, gets talking views is about whatever something. they give us, to be honest with you. They decide what gets views. You can literally put, there's a million forms of entertainment. Yes, but, like, on the news, more negative news gets them more views and viewership than posting happy stories that's, all the yeah, time. Yeah, but that's news. So, that, like, you've watched a movie before. You've People have enjoyed, there's very critically acclaimed movies that are not, like, any, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, they... And those movies specifically, I'm talking about the ones that are fed to that demographic, children, teens, right? It's so on purpose. Mm -hmm. It's so consistent, these tropes across so many different things. And it's like, bro, it, whenever I think about like who decided this societal norm, it is literally like who stands the top of the media conglomerates that like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's literally like across the board, every single one they put that in there, and then it becomes the norm. It's also funny too because when the the people that are watching it, it's in when your hormones are all out of balance, yep. and you like want to be that movie or you feel that movie yep. so much more. And then I've watched back hella movies that I felt so attached to as a kid, and I was just like, this, is <laughs> like this is like that guy's a bad person that I used to up to it's like literal literal scumbag mm -hmm. no wonder i acted weird because i thought that guy was cool and i was doing exactly what because i wanted the things he had in the movie like yep. attention from girls and like free life and like you know get to wear whatever you want and like you know that type of and it's just like oh so then i must behave x was like the your, your child brain's way to analyze that and then yeah. the, hearing that the notebook was like bro what the f because I never watched a notebook. I didn't know that was the premise, but it's like, yeah. that's literally every relationship of like a girl in mid twenties up to like early thirties. Yeah. It's like, that's what they think of. That's it was, what they think like. This is how I felt about how I met your mother too. Like mm -hmm. when I watched it for the first time, obviously I was younger and I was like, oh, I like this, the show. I rewatched it two more times and I was like, holy shit. There was a lot of shady things in this movie shady. where like, yeah. And I was like. Hey, The Office. They're all homie hoppers. The Office. You know how oh, Jim Pam, and Pam... Yeah, meet? that was shady too. Pam was engaged yeah, and, flirting and flirting with somebody at work that was just like a better, more charismatic... Work husband. Yeah, literally the work husband. And it's like all these tropes in the most popular shows and most popular forms of media, I see it so often, so glorified in like real relationships nowadays. You know what's yep. funny? Everyone was like cheering them, her on too. Yeah, they were a cute couple, but it was like... It, it's When you're young, when you're like 19 watching it, you know what I'm saying? You don't really get how scummy that... Yeah, later like, down the line you're kind of like damn you're a scumbag yeah what I'm not saying that Pam's fiance was all that great but yeah. like she should have not flirted with him Roy? yeah I think it was Roy, Roy. Yeah, I was just gonna say Roy's a bad person though. Roy, Roy was a shit bag no, he but, was a like, shit bag yeah. she shouldn't have been with him but I mean but it's on. also like you're not like that doesn't excuse you flirting with your work husband yep and, and how I met your mother Robin was such a dude I'm sorry I'm gonna say she's, she's, <laughs> it's just, okay it's okay we still love you yeah 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 yeah, yeah. But yeah. What about you? What? You care about any of those movies? <laughs> what the f I don't know. Are there any movies that you're like looking back? You're like. Do you care? <laughs> What's the first word? <laughs> Do you care? You care about uh, Jim and Pam? No. Nah, you like pro Jim and Pam? I am pro Jim and Pam. Oh, so you're pro cheating. You're pro yeah. work husband. <laughs> I haven't watched The Office in a long time, though. Office no, I, I always said it was, I mean, the, I mean, it's a show at the end, of the end of the day, but the premise of how they got together was a little iffy. But You letting your girl have a nine to five? Hell no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, so I got to get rich so my girl doesn't even have work, let alone a work husband. <laughs> I've been oh. telling I'm you your work husband, When babe. I get a girlfriend, <laughs> she's not allowed to leave the house, not allowed to talk to anyone. Jesus. I'm having nightmares now. About I'm like, what, what if <laughs> me and my girlfriend? No, <laughs> I was like, what if there was? She probably a... has nightmares too. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what if what if I was to like like get out of this podcast and a new girl starts working here? What do you mean right get out of this podcast? To, no, I'm just saying like uh, I, I'm just having nightmares. It's a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, and not then some happen. girl shows up and she's like basically and, fiending for Jeremy. Yeah, and 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 I'm at home with a child or something 
And oh, I'm you're like, on maternity leave yes. and we have to replace you. Stop yes. reading her, mother, her mind. Look at oh this, this guy. God. Yo, this guy just jumped up to play to the <laughs> drama. Look at his no, face. No, what the f*** is He's interesting. Saying, he even threw in you're on maternity leave. <laughs> I'll never leave Yo. your side. I will forever follow you wherever you work. Of course. I'm, I'm applying for Nectar, too. <laughs> I must be there. <laughs> what position are you giving her a Nectar? Sales. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the okay. road, Jack. <laughs> Sell these boxes. <laughs> you better come back with zero. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Esther, you had a... Oh, wait, actually... Dude, we're, <laughs> we're, we're at like two hours. Is, yeah, what, are we cool? How far are we? Nice. Still let's, let's end it here and go into the bonus. All right, yeah. so we're, we're, we like this little game we play. It's called Songs. <laughs> I love that. I love it. I was, I was desperately trying to come up with a name on the <laughs> spot because we never named it. And I was like, right out of time songs. But anyways, he said, um, we like this game that we play with. <laughs> but uh, it's basically, we give a prompt and then we all play a song that we think fulfills that prompt. But yeah. we can't put it on YouTube because we'll get demonetized. So if you'd like to see this segment, go to www.undertheinfluence.show because it's the best way to directly support the show. It helps us support all of our lovely people that help us make the magic happen. And yeah. Cheers. All right. So the first one <laughs> is um, now that we just went on vacation and I was thinking of like there's definitely certain songs that makes me just feel like I'm on vacation. So what is a song that immediately makes you feel like you're on vacation? All right. Well, that is the end of that episode. I love this segment. And we should also wrap up the podcast. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That, that was me wrapping up the podcast. Oh. <sighs> no, but this is the exclusive. Yeah, no, but that was me too. Uh, oh. But it's okay. Oh, I see what but you're it's saying. Okay. But yeah. it's okay. Nobody cares We can move on. Me. End of the episode. Everybody Thank you guys me. for watching thus far. And remember, what are you supposed to do? Like, Dr oh. comment down below. What, sh what should they comment? I think they should just comment. Oh. You're either least favorite, best, one of the rankings. Best do, do oh, yeah, yeah. Do, do the rankings like the Disney or the fruit or give, an, give your oh, God oh, honest, man. extremely opinionated opinion on mm. the Vince situation in the beginning. Oh. And then fight with other people about it. Really yes. let them have it. Really let them know your true feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. It's going to make Vic quit. He's going to be like, F these people. I just, I just want to say that I love, yeah. like I said, I love T, but that was a lot. Like six months. <laughs> yeah. I hey, was you stressed out. That? We could cut that out if you don't want that. The story? No, for them to comment about it. Oh, they will comment about it yeah, regardless. Well, regardless. let's see who gets to the end. Yeah. I mean, yeah, also, there's a very small percentage of people are going to be. No, y'all are yappers. Y'all will yap about it. It's okay. Anyways, love you. Be nice in the comments, y'all. We're, we're humans. Thank you. No, be as mean as possible. Let's see if we could take it. No, no, I don't want to. I, I can't take it. I'm just going to tell you right now. <laughs> I don't like I wanna, it. I want to see. I want to try one where I'm like, bully the out of me. Let's just see if I like. Oh, uh, did they hit you with something deep? Yeah, and you're, you're like, like mean. <laughs> oh no more. I don't, I don't want. I don't. You're want like that. no more, please. <laughs> <laughs> Only comment see... mean things if you're perfect. But the... if you're commenting mean things, then you're not perfect. Like, so comment, bye -bye. subscribe. We'll see you in the Bay Area, <laughs> March first. Text into the number. Hey guys, we're under the influence. And if you're enjoying our clips and you want to see the full episodes, you can go to our website. We have them all linked to every audio streaming platform and YouTube. If you like, comment, and subscribe over there, it really helps us out. Please, we haven't paid the rent in months. If you're looking for us or any of the guests, we always tag them. Also, if you have any topics or questions you want to ask us, go to our website or text this number on the screen. If you're feeling thirsty, drink Neck Your Hard Seltzer. seltzer. Delicious Asian flavors and no weird aftertaste. We ship to 45 states. Use code UTI15 at checkout on our website for 15% off your first box. And if you want some of the best bartending tools money can buy, you can use the same code UTI15 on barchemistry.com for 15% off. Thank you guys for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you leave mean comments, please stop. They really hurt our feelings. But if you don't, we love you.